Oh my goodness. We, we might remind you. Maybe. Hello, everybody. We're going over our laundry list here before going live of what Ben has to say. He's been tasked with yeah. uh, promoting the channel. Ben. Hey, I'm on Garb Light Games. Thanks for having me, everybody. Uh, I'm excited to be here running some cyberpunk this afternoon slash evening for you wonderful folks. It's afternoon for me. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. It's good to be in the GM seat here. Uh, this is new for me. Yes, we'll see how well, this goes. Hello, 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 hello. welcome to Matt, who's been allowed out of his box to play a game in someone else's box. Oh, right? right. He's, oh, no. he's got the branding sorted. He's got the There's a box. Uh, it's a short leash. Available oh, yeah, Apple. like we, we get to share toys, you know, toy box. I think we get a box. Now he's like turned much. his camera around, so it looks like... I was going to say... No, it's much smaller. <laughs> I just presumed he was in a different this is part the of door his cell. Right here. <laughs> anyway, so... Welcome to Garblad Games. Hi, good evening. It's our last show of the year. We really mean it this time. This is our third last show of the year. Honest. <laughs> yep. Honest. Uh, so let's just have a quick go over of the stuff that we've got coming up starting in the new year. So, <laughs> yep. On the first Tuesday, which is the 5th of January, we have got Coriolis, but that's not going to be here on Garblad. That's going to be over on the Free League channel, Matt's channel. Oh my god, uh, that's next I'm, week? Yeah, that's next yeah. week. Surprise. <laughs> I thought it was like next year. Oh, wait. <laughs> it is next year, though. Oh. Next Thursday, we're going to be doing character creation for a traveler campaign game that Pete's going to be running and interspersing between other things. So we're going to be doing a session zero character creation, and it's going to be quite a big one. Yep. We have somewhere in the region of 10 to 12 players yep. <laughs> who will be dipping in and out of the game in different bits for different missions to do different stuff. Mm. Following oh. that, on Thursday the 14th, we are beginning the Enemy Within campaign, sponsored by Cubicle 7 and Games Workshop. Boop, boop. Um, I should mention as well, actually, that our Traveller campaign is going to be sponsored by Mongoose Gaming, because we're big, cool, important streamers now, and everybody loves us. But with no further ado, I shall <laughs> hand over to Matt to run us through Night City and how we're all going to die horribly in a cyberpunk way. Is that Yay! what's going to happen? Is that the plan? Yeah, yeah, that's yep. yeah. That's our plan. Yep. Oh, yeah. I didn't plan on killing you, but if you if you want, uh, not the plan. That's the experience. the experience. Well, we could go shopping. Well, that's the other yes, if you, if shopping. You go shopping <laughs> um, if you, yeah, we can we can always we can always continue this on. You don't have to die uh, if, if you want to keep playing some cyberpunk in the near future. But if you want to go into Blaze of Glory, that's fine as well. Uh, yeah, welcome everybody. We're doing a cyberpunk red one shot here. It's a little series I call Night City Stories. So we got some four new runners here today that are going to join us. Uh, let's quickly just go around and everybody introduce your character, who you're playing. You see the names on the screen, but go ahead and tell everybody who you're playing and what profession slash class you are. Uh, and then we'll get into it. We'll start playing some cyberpunk. So I'm going to start on the top left-hand corner of my overlay, and that's, uh, Dan is Jagged Stone. Good evening, everybody. My name is Dan. I am playing Jagged Stone. I am a rocker. Rocker! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I um, am quite a glittery, colourful character um, with a political message of anarchy and of fighting against the machine um, and the injustice, injustices of the corporate system. And I have a crocodile. Yay. What's the crocodile called? Yes, I did allow the crocodile. I thought, <laughs> what? What is <laughs> what what a a allowed request? To, please be sure. I didn't know we were allowed to just ask for whatever. Oh, well, man, that was a... <laughs> it's more Christmas. Important, more, more importantly, <laughs> he, I have a guitar. He, he has, yeah, oh, you have a guitar? Okay. I'll, I'll allow that also, if you want a guitar. <laughs> I, I, was... I, I like the idea that, like, Dan was reaching for, like, the electric guitar. I instantly turned <laughs> to the guitar. Everyone's like, are you sure? <laughs> really? Yeah, no. no it's got no. more neon on it. And yes. he is a rock star, so he needs, like, neon. an exotic animal. Rock. And that's his crocodile. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> He's the um what's the Tiger King's name? What's his name there? That strange little guy. Oh no. Here, yeah, here Carl. Is that who we're going with? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh, okay. That's the King of the Tigers. Yeah. Tiger King. Yes. All yeah, right. Tiger King, yeah. Next on our overlay here, we'll go we're gonna jump down to Nye, who's playing Dr. Vert. Oh, yes, I am playing Dr. Vert. I am I am a tech, which means I make things. 
That is the scope of Nye's understanding of the character, and probably the scope of Doc and on again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's probably the scope. You know, he's he 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 fights against injustice. He probably doesn't actually have a doctorate, but you know, who says you're not allowed to just call yourself a doctor? Yeah. Well, all these laws, but eh, it's fine. It's we're anarchists. Don't matter about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I call myself uh, an attorney all the time in real life, and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm your legal exactly. counsel. No. <laughs> oh, great. I, I'll be your doctor. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One exchange. All right. Next, we have Acid Override, uh, a.k.a. Ben. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, an inheritance from my two parents, both of whom had some kind of background in hacking. Um, yeah, Acid Override suffers from a nasty case of stick it to the man <laughs> mm-hmm. and was infected quite young and is a net runner. So hacking stuff and taking things away from the people that take things away from people. That's right. Modern day Robin Hood. Yeah, righteous. To quote the Dukes of Hazard. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> We're about oh. halfway to Robin Hood. We still that needs to be whoever who who's our nomad. That's your that's your vehicle. We yeah. steal from the Rich. everyone and we and... give to the new one. Yeah. That, did you know this is kind of related in the Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven video game? There's like a futuristic version of the the Dukes of Hazard car you can get and drive around it. So it oh. works. <laughs> it is it's connected. Okay. There we go. Two modern day Robin Hoods. All right. And we got Rave, Dr. Rave on Laser Brain. Not Autumn. a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> In no way a doctor, not claiming to be a doctor, claiming to be a laser brain. We'll discuss that one later. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, Ray, mm, this may seem familiar to some people. Uh, Ray is a nomad and a wheelhead and isn't quite so fussed with sticking it to the man as just driving very much faster than the man. Possibly through the man. Possibly through the woman. Possibly through those that have yet to decide. Death Race 2000. Yeah. Equal opportunities, Death Race 2000. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Cool. Oh, let's turn on, Let's get the music going. Because we like to have music to set the tone here. Oh, uh, so mean, in the top right-hand just... corner, there's going to be, there's like a little music note. And if it's too loud, you can adjust it on your side, your own volume. Oh my goodness, oh, we're gonna be spoiled. Control. We're we're gonna make all really these demands on control. Pete when you he, should. When he I want yeah. Back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm spoiling you for Pete. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you need music. You need all kinds of stuff now going forward. Ben yeah. has attempted to play music at us in his games, but he's mostly played music to himself. <laughs> I've just started and to dance oh, along. Yeah. And and there are musical numbers which are very enjoyable. But, oh, that's uh, true. Yeah. Yes. We got told yes. not to do those you've anymore. You've not heard my way until you've heard my way, my way. <laughs> All right, we're way, now just playing way. with the music. We're trying to get it on. You can tell. You can thing. see everyone's completely everybody's zoned playing out with the music. The <laughs> yes, enough. I love this music. We got I'm some ambient music to get us in the boundary. I can't hear it. Oh yeah, yeah. You I might have to turn it off. It's, it's quite low, so that okay. it's uh, not. It doesn't overpower the stream. Just ambient music to get us in the mood. Oh, I play. can hear it, and it's coming through different speakers. Well, this is fun. <laughs> Welcome to Foundry. Pete, this is it. You got up your game. This is the future. Ah, <laughs> now I have it in my ear holes. The future is here. All right, so. Oh, Pete, this is great. <laughs> also, here? Ben, this is great. Yeah, I'll pretend. Yeah, I love this music that I can definitely hear and didn't just give up trying to do because I'm lazy. <laughs> You can't hear it. All right. So you it's can you take that much bandwidth, Noi? No, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's chugging along. Yeah. Noi needs highlands. it in two bit. Could you do it in two bit? <laughs> Dan, you got a re-roll. It's good going. Well started. <laughs> oh, wait. I can't hear it, but I, yeah, okay. That's fine. You can, you can adjust it on your end. All right. So you guys, the four of you have gathered at the Afterlife Bar, which is a very popular gathering place for folks of your type looking to earn some extra money to just live. Night City is a, a, a terrible place. It's a horrible place. It's hard to survive. Um, you guys all live together in one apartment. You got to make rent. You got to you got to eat. This isn't your full time job. You do this in the evenings. You take on jobs, but this is where you go to find those jobs. You guys have um, 
have taken on the moniker of the Gator Gang, despite Jagged Stone owning a crocodile, but you guys begrudgingly have uh, <laughs> have uh, latched onto this name, even well, though Jagged Stone. Better, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Jagged Stone, you know, corrects people, whatever they call you, the Gator Gang. It's a crocodile. Uh, but you're sitting there tonight. You're sitting in the booth. The music's pumping. The place is packed. And as you're sitting there, a, 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 a man approaches your table. He's well-dressed. He's wearing a suit. He might be a corporate, a corpo. You don't know. He approaches the table and he goes, Are you are you the Gator Gang, by chance? Who's asking? Yeah. Um, that guy's uh, asking. That that guy there's asking. Yeah. What him? What does he want? Yeah. Do you know him? Well, he's asking for the Gator Gang. Who are they? We're the crocodile crew. <laughs> the crocodile crew. We are? <laughs> Jagged Stone has tried to make this name popular. I, I, but it just I thought does not we were. Stick. I, yeah, I thought we were the Gadiel guys. <laughs> <laughs> the alligator ensemble. <laughs> it's a crocodile, man. <laughs> he goes, oh. Sorry, Jagged. Jagged gets quite sensitive about that. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we are. What do you need? He's what he's kind of suit. He looks at. He's looking at Jagged the whole time, and he's kind of a little starstruck by Jagged. You can tell he, he kind of he kind of keeps looking over at him. Oh, you're hang on here, Jagged. We'll let you handle this. The reptile rabble. Um, yes. Sorry, I just looked at the chat and I shouldn't have. Um, yeah, he goes. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he holds out his hand. He goes, the, the, the name's Roland. I'm I'm looking for some some capable runners who could do a job for me. Um, I don't know. What the what kind the outcome? Of job. I don't know what the outcome could be. I don't know what sorts of dangers there are. But a, a friend of mine went missing recently, and well, you see, they they chalked it up to a case of cyberpsychosis. My friend, he went a little overboard. He went a little overboard, chroming himself out, putting all sorts of mods in his body, and you know, you know the rumors that people go a little, they go a little crazy, they go a little psychotic when they when when they lose too much of their humanity but you see my friend he wasn't there he wasn't there yet yeah yeah he went a little overboard but no i i listen, i don't re i don't believe the reports and i received a message a very strange message the other day on my agent that leads me to believe that he's still alive he's still somewhere and that there is still some humanity left in him and i'm I, i'm looking for I'm looking for some people to find out what happened to him and, if possible, bring him back to me. With, with the humanity, or or is that like can we, like you want if he, the if humanity he's still, still there? Yes, if the humanity's yeah. still there, bring him back to me. If he if he has succumbed okay. to cyber psych, cyber psychosis, then fine. Then it is what it is. Okay. But yeah. you can get therapy for that these days. Yeah, of course. Can yeah. you? Well, and and, talk, and talk worst to um, here says you can. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. And worst case, you know, there's always a pawn shop. So you know, pawn hey, suit shop. man, he hey, suit man. None of this, none of this sort of thing is free, man. What are you offering? <sighs> he kind of looks down at the table. He he looks and he's like, oh shit, Jagged Stone just acknowledged me, and he's like <laughs> starstruck. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm offering, I, I know it's not a lot to you, but, um, I could give you 10,000 eddies if you can get to the bottom of this and find out what happened to my buddy. I think we should take it. That's a good deal. Okay, go to Hodel. Do you think we should haggle? <laughs> <laughs> right. Not you, Sue. That's Step back. <laughs> Step back. I pull, I pull the crocodile up so it's at your length. <laughs> yeah, what does the croc say? It seems to have better decision making skills than you guys. It's 10k <laughs> for a hide and seek. We can do that. Yeah. Like, and 10k split between the four of us is like 5k each. Yes, Dr. Vert. That's what did you get correct. Your again? <laughs> Not mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's religion. It's actually, it, it's actually sewing. Okay, but, you man. Know. Okay, man. Okay, okay, suit, man. I tell you what, you got a deal. Okay, 
Okay, man. Need some information, yeah. though. Yeah. Break but yeah, we need a place to stop with. Yeah, this, he goes. Man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course, of course. Thank you, thank you so much. He's super grateful. He turns out of the bar. He like orders a round of drinks and motions for bring it over to the table for the four of you. We go. Okay, good. Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew I could count on you guys. You know, you're up and comers. You, you're getting quite a reputation for yourselves. I, uh, thanks, thanks again for, for for taking this on. And he's just like ecstatic. He's overjoyed that you've agreed to look into his friend. He goes. Have a list of the wear that this guy's packing. I, I don't, but I know the Ripper Doc that he's been going to and getting his stuff installed on him. And that might be a good start to, to, to kind of poke around and find out what's going on. Mm. I can give you his details. The other thing, so the other thing that leads me to believe that he's still alive is I, I used to joke around and I, I call my, I call my buddy, Mr. Roboto, cause he was getting all this, all this stuff installed on him, planted on him. He's become more machine than man. Right. So, you know, joke around, have a little fun with him but the other day. Like I said, I got this message on my agent. It was a whole bunch of, like, zeros and ones, and it didn't make sense. You know, I figured something wrong with the network. But in the middle of that me of these zeros and ones, it said, Domo Arigato. And that's what leads me to believe that he's still out there. He's trying to, he's trying, he's trying to communicate with me. He's trying to get in touch with me. And I, I want you to find out if he's still alive. Okay. So we need to, we need to I'm going to need access to your email. He gets all like his back up against. Well, what do you mean access to my email? Well, I can run a backtrace from there. He says, "I'll just forge you the message." Sure. It'll, it'll <laughs> he pulls out his, an agent is a phone, so he pulls out his phone and he's just like, "What's your number?" And he just like forwards you the text message because it was a text message that he received. Okay. Okay, sure. I'll run a backtrace on this. Well, ben actually knows all the words. <laughs> A backtrack? God, so technical. Wow, it's so cyberpunk. <laughs> Skip trace. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what. Go ahead Thanks, and um, roll me a d10, please. In the bottom, there should be um, just dice. There's a d4, d6. You can just click the Ooh. die that you want and hit roll. Just go ahead and do that for me, and we'll um, we'll go from there. Yeah. Oh, oh I actually heard it's a critical lies. success. Sounds All right. Oh no, that's a critical failure. So when you roll a one, it's a critical failure. And what you wait, do is you know, wait, then wait. roll it another says Dr. D10. Vert. <laughs> you yeah. roll another D10 when you critically wait, fail I... <laughs> and you subtract that off your total. So you have to roll wait. another D10. You're gonna get a negative here. So roll me another. Oh uh, no, D10. wait, I see what the problem was. Yeah, I didn't roll that as me, I rolled that as Dr. Vert. Ah uh, <laughs> so that's it. Oh Dr. Well yeah, I, I tried to do it, but I I fail badly because I'm trying to look over your shoulder and I don't know how any of this yeah. works. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Vert reaches over your shoulder, pushes a button and just kinda like messes up. Ah, trying to help. You do it. Okay. When it's a software issue, I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you take a look at the message and you're unable to um to determine the origin of this message unfortunately at this point in time uh and from this this access point through your phone yeah i mean we're gonna need like oi nethead that's a tech does the binary actually say anything that's gonna take a little bit longer to decode yeah i mean i can read binary but translating it takes time even spending luck's not going to get you there. Uh, unfortunately, in this case, hey, hey zero, man, what about... zero one zero one zero. Okay, that's that's A. Thanks, Doctor. Fur. Hey man, what about what about the name and the code in the middle that you saw? Yeah, yeah. What's yeah, the what meaning a... on that? Uh, uh, Domo Regato. It's like that old song. I called I called my buddy Mister Roboto. I figured he was yeah. reach he was reaching out oh. to me. You know that old song. You know about any points to you, Jagged, as you're, you're talking to him. You got to know. Stop. Yeah, I heard of it a long so, time ago. So there's so, a ripper yard, I heard. A, a he ripper dock. Dock, that's it. <laughs> a ripper yard? That's something else, man. I don't want I want nothing to do with that. I'm not into <laughs> that scene. You your wear fitted. <laughs> I don't want to know. A ripper yard. Quick fit. Um. A ripper dock is where you go and you can get... Uh, you can get implants like cybernetics okay. installed yeah. on you <laughs> well, we, yeah well why don't we go talk to those guys maybe they know something a ripper yard uh, Alden, you've got a reroll <laughs> like, 
<laughs> yeah, Vert goes to like, like yeah, a car replacement thing, and they're just like, yeah, we could do it. It's fine. He knows we yeah, fix we'll, cars. Yeah, yeah. We'll just put just, you up on the rack. You be right. Just humor him. Change your oil while you're here. <laughs> a ripper yard. That's what they call right. it. They call strippers here rippers. And you're gonna, I don't want to know what oh. a ripper yard is. <laughs> oh no, let's not. Let's move uh, on. I Dr. Vert, no, no, you're, you're dirty. <laughs> you're a dirty oh, man. Geez. All right, so <laughs> let's get back to this. Okay. So he goes, yeah, yeah, uh, you can go check out the, the Ripper Doc. He's over on uh, 93rd Street. Um, and he, uh, he goes by the name Rockford. They're a piece of shit. But uh, yeah, go, he, he's Sounds cheap. Charming. He does, he's cheap. And I hear he does decent work, but uh, he overcharges from what uh, what my buddy told me. He's cheap and he overcharges. Yes, yes. He's slapdash, yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, expensive. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's just so in awe Sounds of Jake. Like of Jake and, me. He's so in awe of Jake at Stone that he's just kind of like stumbling over his words here. I think Mr. Rob so might need to... Uh... Oh, hang on. Something just happened there. Can you yeah, still hear me? Gone. We can yeah, hear we can your mic you. just kind just... of... Yeah, yeah, you're in the Pringles echo. can. A Pringles. Oh. Yeah, okay, so we're the wrong so right. Ripper, Ripper Doc, yeah? Ripper Soup Doc. Boy, how do we contact you if we find your friend? He says, well, I've already texted uh, this guy, and he points at us over right. That guy there, I've texted him, he's yeah. got my number. Yeah, but just look at him. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, you can text me. Like, I'm, I'm not going to, like you know actually do the job i just want to ha add some more contacts on my agent uh yeah he looks at you, he's like okay and he what's your number i had to i had to mind like yay new friend well, while while he's doing that jagerstone's gonna get a beer mat <laughs> write his write his autograph on it oh, and give it to course. the guy <laughs> Oh, he looks at it. And he's just like, "Oh wow!" He he puts it in his pocket. He puts it in his breast pocket. Never mind, my oh friend. My I got autograph. <laughs> I I like it. Like just, his friends. You yeah. look after that man. You look after that. As as you know, as you you're handing it to him, he still has Doctor Verse phone. He just kind of like tosses Doctor Verse phone on the table, like completely uh, forgetting about adding his information to his. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's just so rude. I pick it up sadly. <laughs> to his contacts. Okay. Yeah. It's, right. it's not even them, it's just me. <laughs> 93rd. Uh, okay, got it. Should we take the lobster? Yeah, I love the lobster. Shotgun! Yes. The lobster. You're the, the gator <laughs> gang, your car's the lobster. Yep. Yeah. You got a nautical theme going on here. Fresh water. Fresh water. <laughs> <laughs> Do, crocodiles, do they live in fresh water? I don't know. Well, they can do. They're yeah, all too okay. yeah. Well, actually, now I can tell us more about this, yeah. can't you now? Well, there, but there also, there's also a saltwater crocodile, salt water, which yeah. can go in yep. saltwater. Salty crocs. Salty crocs. <laughs> Salty crocs. That's for our pirate show. Come on now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've not even left the bar yet. This is great. I'm loving it. We're 25 minutes in. We haven't bought bar. anything, though. Come on, we're doing well. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really sorry about it for derailing <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. About, I'm used to this. Don't you worry. I I am more than okay. used to this with many games I've run. Right to the motor. So, yes, scramble. All Let's right go. to the lobster mobile. Don't do it. Can I just be excused one sec? Yes. Yep. From. The crustacean okay, car. Remember, guys, seat belts are not for cool punk people, so don't put uh, them on, okay? I've taken them out. We don't need them. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Don't I Dr. Fur, did you get round to fitting the claws to the lobster like I asked you? Uh, if I say no, I'm going to be angry. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be angry. I'm just not going to let you in the car. Uh, then yes, I have fitted them. They're invisible though, so um, you can't oh, wow. see them. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> oh, Dr. Oh, Fur, yeah. that's brilliant. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. We cannot um, hear you, Ben. Yeah. Do we yeah, still have? We these... still have uh, sound on Ben. No. No, we're missing all these zingers that he'll be. You are. I'm like the there. We go. Center. Now we hear you. There we go. But have you got me through the right microphone? That's the problem. You we sound... can hear you. You yeah, sound, sound... Yes. You sound yes, good. Yes, like I am coming through. You're not in a Pringle tin anymore. Not a Pringle yeah. tin. Seriously, the amount of money I spent setting up the damn studio, you'd think it would work. But I had to pull everything out the other day to restick all of the um, audio foam because it fell off. Anyway, Zinger, yes. 
That Shot, was one. Yeah. 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 Wow. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in awesome. the passenger seat. I'm very okay. excited. Right. Yes, I'm in the back. I'm going to start looking up this Ripper doc and see what we've got on him. Yeah. What he knows about him. So why don't you go ahead and make me a roll? We're going to call it a <laughs> cyber deck roll. Ben is the only one trying to progress the plot. We're just screwing around. He's doing a great Ooh, job. 22. I'm yeah. getting us there. I know. All right. So you're doing some digging. You go on the net. There's the regular information that you can pull up. There's all sorts of like ads that pop up as soon as you search his name. Real skeezy guy. Uh, he's obviously optimized the uh, search results. Uh, but you do a little bit of digging and you find some stories, some news stories from um, recent that uh, patients who've been going to his um, his shop have been disappearing. You cross references. It didn't exactly say this in the article itself or articles, but you found that there's a pattern going on here that many of his customers seem to have been disappearing the last month or so. Not all of them, but there is a pattern going on here. Is there a, a sort of level at which they're disappearing on the amount of cyberware fitted? It's a great question. With a 22, um, these are people who have gone a, a little overboard with getting uh, mods and enhancements on their body. So they're kind Probably, of folks that it would be easy to chalk it up to cyber psychosis. When yes, yes. On, possibly on the brink of cyber psychosis. Going a little too far, losing too much of their humanity uh, as they're doing this. Guys, Dr. Okay. Nick is way skeezy. Okay. Uh, uh, skeezy. Yeah, is it us skeezy or like actually bad guy skeezy? No, actual we're, bad guy skeezy. We're cool. I mean, oh, okay. skeezy. It's not just um, <laughs> Mr. Roboto here that's gone missing recently. There's a whole bunch of people. You have to pull on little threads here, there, and everywhere. But anybody who's gone overboard on their cyberware has gone missing if they've been to his shop in the last couple of months. So I think we might want to proceed cautiously because it sounds like he is not on the up and up. Uh, okay. Does he have any connections? Does he have any criminal skeeviness? Yeah, not not what you've been able to determine from your your searches. How much cyberware have we all got, by the way? Um, I don't think any of you have cyberware, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> using that, using there's it's it's interesting in this game. There's actually three methods of of character creation, from like the easiest, where you just like pick things off of a list that's predetermined for you, or all the way up to like a skill buy. So to make your your NPCs, I just did like the the easy one where it just gives you, it suggests what to give you, and I don't think any of you start with any cyberware. Okay. Based off that method. You're all no, we, virgins. We can't go in as like customers. <clears throat> you could you'd be like, hey, we want to, we want some new base. I've got no cyberware and I want loads. <laughs> yeah, load me Stack up. Me up. Doc, but guys, Doc Rock. Guy, where where are we gonna find someone stupid enough to 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 be looking for this place for for like? Hey, Doctor Bionics. Yeah. Mm. You yeah. Oh, know they can oh, enhance I your mental it. powers. Did you know that? You can get a mod for that. I are we I, are we thinking we should ask Acid to go in? He does he does kind of give off that kind of glazed over look sometimes. I say that out loud. I I try to do the stage whisper, but it's very obvious. Well, I mean, we could. Um, hey hey man, let's just go in there, have a chat with him, man, and just okay. see where the dude's at. Yeah, guys. All right. I would like okay, to drive yeah. there in an unnecessarily showy fashion. <laughs> lots of swerving, <laughs> lots of unnecessary undertaking. Maybe hey, undertaking. that's awesome, man. <laughs> Maybe just some driving over people and moving too slowly in small lanes. Well, I'll type really quickly in the back then. While yeah, you do, you do that. that. I'll sit in the back and strum on a guitar, man. Rock and roll. <laughs> if everybody could just kind of guitar. swing side to side every now and again, that'd be good. Oh, go around the corner. Oh, just like start, start sure. bridging. Oh, yeah, there we go. We'll just shatter it. So is it a geek? Is it a guitar or a keytar? Or a, or a, uh, or a guitar? It's, it's imperative that we know it. <laughs> It's, it's, the same it's, it's the future. Yeah. <laughs> it's both. If you just kind of spin the head round and it's keys on one side and it strings it's, on the yeah, other. Yeah, just go like click. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I find that Somebody so Somebody write that down. That's genius. <laughs> Next we Christmas are geniuses. Top toy. <laughs> yep. 
Bro, sorry. Bro, uh, thanks, thanks for joining us, uh, young bohemian. Yeah, yeah, this is 2045. We're in the era of red <laughs> uh, that we're playing right now. So thanks for joining us. And don't worry about, uh, you know, proper etiquette for RPG streams. Ask away with your questions. We love yeah. it. If the question was, why in this cyberpunk are you talking about the difference between a guitar and a keytar? Uh, you're clearly <laughs> new to Garblag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this Welcome is to Garblag. We, yes. we just, we just like, extended bit about crocodilians. So, you know. <laughs> You I, I think that we, I you're think in the right place caymans out of the running to be fair we did we did oh, that, no, that yeah. was rude we're the the, the cayman classes no no no, no, no you're not, oh, you're not being obnoxious the clan. There we go. seriously ask, hit us up with questions we like we love interacting with uh, folks in the chat so if you have any questions hit us up uh so you guys make your way there you go like i said this is uh, the ripper doc by the name of rockford doc rock uh you get there you know the neon lights are kind of like buzzing outside with his with his name on it uh a few of the letters have been smashed and there there's no there's no gas in there and it's not completely lit up and it actually literally does say doc rock the the ford of rockford has been busted out and it's kind of blinking and humming there's um it's not the best neighborhood uh there are folks just kind of wandering around aimlessly they may or may not be under influences of certain things um, and you get there and there, there are currently, nobody is in the waiting room when you get there. There is a receptionist behind the, um, behind the, the desk when you walk in or, res and it is a, a young man and he kind of looks up, he's, he's on his agent and he looks up at you, kind of glances at you and goes back to it. doesn't say anything, looks more annoyed than anything that you're in there and that you're interrupting him. Hello. Tap, tap, tap. He just kind of goes, eh. On his he, head. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, uh, you have an appointment? No. Looking down, he doesn't look at you. He doesn't make eye no. contact whatsoever. No. Would you, are you going to let us in if we say yes? Uh, Ooh, he's he, a cunning one, that. What do you think this is, Zork? <laughs> We're just going to yes. go through all the conversation <laughs> options. <laughs> he he looks no. down, he goes, Oh, Listen. you'll have to come back later. Oh, I go on, Re reload. Yes. He's, <laughs> he's looking tap, at his tap, phone, he goes, tap. Listen, there's a patient and we're booked completely for the rest of the day. Come back later. And we'll see if we can get you in. Jack and Stone will march up. Oh, oh no. With the crocodile? And just, just <laughs> wax his, his hand down and goes, Hey, man. Hey, man, look. I'm looking to get some upgrades, man. And you know what? I heard you're one of the better ones in town, man. And want to be good for you that I, Jack and Stone, Wear some of your gear, man. Come on. You need to sort another rocker out. Come on, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's let's use your rocker boy ability here. So your ability is that you can roll and you can use your charisma to try and, like, pull people and, like, influence them if they're fans of yours. So you got to roll to see if this guy's even a fan or he's heard of you. You know, you're a young up-and-comer. You're not, like, playing stadiums or anything. You're getting the odd bar gig, but it's mostly, like, birthdays, retirements, and bar mitzvahs that you're doing these days. <laughs> um, okay. So, let's go ahead and roll me a d10, please. Oh, where I do like I find a d10? buzzing in the background. Uh, at the very bottom, underneath the chat box there are dice down there and you can just select the d10 the and then roll stone picture first and then underneath the thing where it says public roll there are pictures of the dice <laughs> the jagged stone picture wait till wait till i actually show the maps and people can see what jagged stone oh, looks I, like okay okay i found my character sheet i think oh, it's in the might chat already know what jagged chat. stone looks like Stop. oh yeah it's on the, it's on the first tab sorry It. That worked, yes. Two, all right. Oh, God. <laughs> um, it's a hot two, everybody. <laughs> yeah. You, you're you're like, I'm Jagged Stone. Yeah. I want some. I want to rock your wear, and I want to... You want to be associated with me, and he's just like, who? It doesn't look oh. up. Jagged. Oh, heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> he 
you just pulled the Instagram influencer trick. Yeah. <laughs> I, Jake had been completely failed. While, while they're Jake being distracting, what? can I sneak past? Can I just be like, yeah. And, yeah yes, okay, that's it. That's cool. totally the plan. Go ahead yes. and roll me a roll me stealth. That, that's okay. on a character sheet. That's an actual skill. Yes. So There's how, like how do I make something the skills skill? In this. Um, I'm gonna how do I roll the skill? So just click on um, the word stealth and it'll roll it in the so, chat. Yeah. And it'll take your bonuses Ooh. and everything into it. It'll spit out okay. the Make sure number you for you. On your character. Stealth. Oh, I only have a two in stealth. Wait, Ooh. I have a nine. Okay. Maybe eleven. I, I got an eleven. Yeah. Yeah, you did. So you start to creep <laughs> around the corner. I, yeah, I do, and... I do like the Scooby Doo. <laughs> but um, but or not Pink Panther. <laughs> Jagged Stone is like, I want to rock your gear. I want to rip your stuff. And the kid's like, whatever, Jagged, what? And you're starting to go around the little desk that he's at. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, where do you think you're going? And as you're going around and he catches you, he finally looks up his, from his phone and he's holding this big, giant handgun. And he's got a point in your direction. He's back and he waves it back, back to the waiting room, pal. Which way's the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> You burst, just ah, like, burst it out cool. like that. He goes, um, that way. And he points opposite of where you're headed. And there's a oh, door. I saw, yeah. And the door is open. Oh. And you see this disgusting bathroom. Like, it has never been cleaned. Oh, there are stains no. all the way down the toilet, around the toilet, on the floor, in the sink, of every color you could imagine. Um, you swear you see some, like, toadstools growing in the in the, the scum on the floor around the toilet. It's like, I'll there. Just he, point, he points it. to the, yeah, this I'll, big, massive yeah. handgun. He's just like, there. Yeah. And he goes yeah, back I'll to just... his phone. Go back around the other side of the table. <laughs> okay, guys. Does anyone else have any distractions? <laughs> I'll just keep tapping him in the head. He's got quite a lot Maybe of hand cannon. Get back in the car, drive the car. <laughs> I like this plan. <laughs> You, yeah. I mean, this is an option. Yeah, like, all right. Pete just go. calls There's you ragged. A. Pete calls you ragged bone. How do you feel about that? Oh, uh, <laughs> I feel hurt. <laughs> we can He's play some of your music really loudly as we ram. Yes, we do. Yeah. What about that? Well, I'm now looking at all the things I can do, <laughs> but I don't know what the I. Should... I yeah, just do them anyway. Yeah. yeah, if you want. I you use can... my land vehicle tech. I have I a surprising amount of wilderness survival. Is that going to come in useful? <laughs> so he's he's sitting there. He's now got the, the gun. He's put it down on the desk next to him, and he's just looking down at his phone, just scrolling through his agent. I'm going to sit down in the waiting room, and I'm going to try and hack their yeah. um, system. Hack his phone. Because... Ruin his Candy Crush score. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That'll learn him. Yes, yes, let's let's hack. You want to try and, like, get into the system, jack into the system, and kind of find a way around? Like, what do you want to do? you want to get into the computer? Do you want to see, like, the um, the waiting list? Do you want to get some information? Like, what do you want to do? Records. Sure. I want to see patient records more than anything else. Yeah, you can definitely interface here in this room. You can you can get onto the, the local network. Um, so we can do that. We can do that. Go ahead and roll me a D10, please. Nope, oh, just a D10. Just a D10. That's me looking at my cyber tech skill and thinking, well, hey, here we go. <laughs> Three. <laughs> go, go ahead and roll me your cyber tech skill. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, 19. 19 there we go. <laughs> Better than three. <laughs> 19. Yeah, so you, you're able to interface here, and you get in, uh, but there is it is definitely encrypted. It's coded, uh, and you're going to have to try and get around a, a lock or two to get some information. But you're now in the system. You're jacked in. Uh, so you can try and break into this information and see if you can get some patient records. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. I dread to even think what kind of security they've got. <laughs> yeah. But if this guy's cheaped on that as much as he's cheaping on everything else, we should be okay. Yeah, yeah but if he's, do yeah, if he's doing shady shit, though, it might be the one thing he actually gives a shit about not yeah. getting caught doing. Yeah, right. I think we can tell what kind of shit he's doing. We can see it well, here. Yeah. 
oh, you know, there's the big F for like health and safety standards, but he doesn't care. He's like, oh, well, I think he means he can right. literally see the shits that he does. Yeah, that is what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, I know that, but for this, you're going to roll it's a D10 plus four. So just roll a D10 and we'll, we'll add four onto it um, for this net running action. Ooh. Magic of maths. You start making your way through the data encryption, but you hit a wall. It looks like there might be what's known as a demon in here, possibly protecting it, which is like a an enemy or a, a malicious uh, form of, of cybersecurity. Like, literally, you'd see, like, a creature in front of you, and you'd, you'd have to, like, fight this thing. So it looks like all of a sudden, like, a wall's been dropped in you, and there is some security in here. Uh, the rest of you, while while acid overrides in in the system, what do the rest of you want to do? So I uh, I would like to shit. Shockingly, the 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 doctor has terrible shocking. social skills. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh god, I have oh, I have good science, but I don't really know what I could do with any of that. Um, I'd like to ask the the lad. Tap yeah. On bed. Have you got a catalog? Something. I want something that's going to help me race faster you got something like that uh yeah he uh he points to the wall and there's like just a screen it's like a menu with all of the things that they offer all the services they offer right. uh and he specifically points to an area that uh with that would re increase your reflexes hand-eye coordination reflexes things like that he goes do you want to make an appointment uh yeah all right when can you fit me in uh, he starts typing on a computer next to him, and he goes, mm, next week, Tuesday, 9pm. I've got big rags oh. coming up on the weekend. Yeah, well, you couldn't fit me in before, could you? <sighs> Can't persuade him. He sighs. With my cool. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Well, do you want to persuade him with your cool? Bean, Please you should do. Get, you, should get the, you should get the AIs thing, where they, they put AIs on you. That'll only help you race. I was thinking about the eyes on the side so I could see what my computer yeah, yeah, doing without yeah, looking yeah. in the mirrors. I think that'd be exactly, really cool. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'd be really Sorry, good man. at eye spy. What would you like me to roll? Let's see. Do you want uh, to use your persuasion? Like, what do you what like? What do you want to pull on? Bribery, conversation. Uh, There's a, you, you, whatever direction you want to so, go. Persuasion, whatever you. I think it's feel. more more like persuasion. It's more. Okay. I'm trying to get him to do me a favor. Okay, that's the. The route you want to go? Yeah, go ahead have, and roll it. Have you got the skills and stuff out and... I've got them right in front of me. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, 14. Hot 14. He goes, oh, fine. We could do Saturday at 1 a.m. Wow. But it'll cost, it'll cost you more. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? For a backyard chop shop, they're awfully busy. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So you booked up all this time. You got like you said you had like one customer in, and that's going to take all day. It seems a bit slow. How long is this going to take with mine? He says the doc only sees one person at a time. He says, what do you what what is it you want done? You want what did you say? Eyes on the side of your head? Yeah, I want that, and I want that reflex thing you said. I want that as well. He says ah, it'll take. Um, and he starts. He starts like finally puts his phone down. He's plugging away the computer. It'll take five hours. All right. And then it's fully functional immediately. Is there a settling in period? Yeah. How does this work? I haven't got any mods. I've heard about them. I heard they might give me the edge I need in the race. He seems very annoyed. Oh, yes. No, it's Good. instantaneous. What do you mean you've never... What? Yes, yes. It's As well, soon as you're done, you're in the doctor's chair. I haven't. It's active. Do you have and any he, educational like, material I could take in? While he looks back at your shoulder at the others. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah. And I, he I, points at a, at a at a thing full of pamphlets. He's like, go, go yeah. take one of those over there. Oh, look, look, Ray. They've got everybody mods here. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, it's yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's go look at the leaflets. Don't it's not spinning it really fast. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's like it. teetering. You get a spoiler fitted on the back of your head to help you drifting. Oh, it's brilliant. I love get, it. Get, get engines put in your calves. That was what I was hoping for. I was hoping for like wheels <laughs> instead of legs. But no, instead I get faster <laughs> reflexes. It's 
boring this is. Uh, as you as you guys are there and you're spinning the pamphlet uh, rack really fast, all yep. of a sudden the door, the back door behind the desk opens, and um, a young woman walks out, and she's she's like chromed head to toe, like just metal for all of oh, her skin. She is shiny. Hello, and shiny. Uh, she's walking out, and behind her is who you can only assume is the doc. He's a big guy, big guy, balding on top. He's got long, black, scraggly hair in the back, a big, bushy beard. He's got, like, these cybernetics on his hands that look like they help assist him with his operations when he's doing them and his uh, installing implants. He's got a big wife beater shirt on and his guts hanging out, and he's wearing sh uh, pants that are a little too small for him. He's just a really greasy looking customer. Um, and he's showing this customer, this person out. And he looks at the rest of you. He goes, is my, uh, my next appointment here? Which, which, which one are you? Who's, who's next? I, I, I nudge me. Ray. I could be me. Uh, hello. Um, the kid turns and goes, uh, you're, they're not here yet. This gentleman has, uh, I'm here. Put in for an appointment, on, and he goes back to the computer. Saturday, one a.m. One a.m. It is yeah. it is Saturday. <laughs> I wink at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not <laughs> rolling. For it. Yeah, boy. The oh, doctor please roll something. The, the Insanity. I don't know why. Animal Insan handling. <laughs> roll <laughs> animal handling. Mine, <laughs> mine is surprisingly <laughs> high, actually. Maybe that would help. Mine's zero. Mine's eleven. <laughs> oh. I, I have yeah, why. nothing in social skills. I think I mostly look after the crocodile. Um, so the woman, the woman that just woke, walked yeah. out, who was all yeah, kind yeah. of chrome, Shiny. is that that she's very heavily cybernetic? Oh then, yeah, she's all, yeah. yeah. So can I message Ben's character, Acid Override, Overdrive? Sorry. Um, no, it was override. You were right. It, it was uh, first time. Yeah. Or acid, you know. Or acid, acid. Yeah. Hey, acid. If she's been heavily modified, then she might be a potential victim to be rechopped up. Are you able to track her so that you know we've got a potential another lead if we need to kind of go and keep an eye on her and see how how they're doing it, et, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Good thinking, but I'm Gandalfing my little heart out right now. I, I could, I could follow her. Uh, you could follow her. Um, so with all this, the doc Without sighs. He goes, deserve. "Fine, it'll cost you five hundred oh. extra, and I'll take you in now." And he points to Ray. Extra? Ah, uh, no. Nah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We haven't set a price in the first place before you start sticking more monies on it. He turns to the kid. He's like, "What? What's he want? What's what's he getting? What's what?" I want the eyeballs and the reflexes, and I want wheels instead of legs. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, all right, it'll be uh, 2,500 eddies. Do you do credit? <laughs> sure. Do you do IOUs? <laughs> <laughs> do you pro bono. Did anybody vouch for it? Yeah, this lot. Oh, <laughs> he's going he's gonna to end up looking like that that robot duck thing from DuckTales. Do you remember? With the oh, wheel yeah. The white arm. yeah. I'm a bit more concerned about how he's going to drive us anywhere once he's got his feet replaced with wheels. <laughs> well, well, they oddly, they only do hands for we, uh, wheels for hands, which seems reductive, but it's a new fad, so, you know. Like Return to Oz, those creepy yeah. things. Oh, yeah, God, yeah. not them. Oh, they chase me by. Me Actually, hang kidding. on. <laughs> hang on, I'm having flashbacks now. <laughs> Oh, I don't want the wheel thing. Actually, I've thought it through, and that's ridiculous. Wheelers. Wheelers, yes. They're cleverly named. Wheelers and dealers, and we are neither. All right, so, sorry, They're, how much? Apparently, ours. It was 2,500 tw eddies. Is that with the extra 500, or is yes. that flat? And then you Yes, go, oh, and oh. he's, like, holding a curtain open. He's like, let's go. And you can see back into, you see a chair back there and there's all sorts of screens and you can see tech just kind of like haphazardly on shelves it's very dirty very unsanitary looking place so uh, let's go can i see some documentation because i'm not really <laughs> sure you're a doctor i've got I a friend here who says he's a doctor and he's at least oh, got a piece oh. of paper that says so yeah that, that's me i'm a doctor i know yeah. quite a bit about cyber tech yeah so yeah you know if i'm gonna hand over this much money, well not hand over get on credit this much money um, I, I'll have a look in some... and go. Hmm? 
I mean, this is pretty clean. I mean, our school was way, you know, messier than this. Yeah. I give a oh, thumbs up approval. Oh, uh, uh, I, yes. I'm gonna if I, if I can, can I slip out and go after the woman? Two stars. Yeah. Would yes. not recommend. <laughs> You're leaving a Google review. Yeah, I'm doing that in front head, of him. Like with yeah. like yeah. customer service is shit here. He's he's leaving a Bing review. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I dislike Bing you so much. I'm not even going to review you on something somebody's going to read. <laughs> oh no. Um, so do you want to, do you want to be stealthful about tailing her? Do you want to be obvious? Do you just want to, like, walk up to her and talk to her? Like, how do you want to, how do how Hey, do you... man, Jagged Stone does not do stealth. <laughs> He's got a crocodile on a lead. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he, but he carries it around like those, like, little, little purse dogs because his little feet get sore. <laughs> oh, like a them. backpack? <laughs> and the head just kind of lolls over the shoulder? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, no no reptiles alive. Oh, but he's a C and I crocodile. I'll uh, try and get her attention Must with a sure. crocodile. Exactly. Hey, hey, hey man, you hey. Hey. She turns around, she's Silver like, person. Yeah, she turns <laughs> Silver person. She turns around, she's like, Do I do I know you? Well, if you don't, I'm gonna have to talk to my people about it, man. Uh, <laughs> That's us. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Jack Stone. Um do you normally go to that that dump? You don't look like the kind of person who would go to that kind of dump. Your 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 kit looks fab, man. It looks absolutely fab. You're top class, man. Top class, top draw. Why are you in a dump like that, man? Uh, go ahead. You can roll me conversation. Can I go yeah, for persuasion? Can Just I go for persuasion? I'm not What's sure. What's a nice I'm girl worried. like you doing in a place like this? What's a shiny lady <laughs> like yes. you? You can go for. Oh, well, you can roll personal grooming, which is a skill. Personal <laughs> grooming. I'm not sure I like the terminology there. <laughs> no, <laughs> can, no can go I ahead and roll hello. your persuasion. Who That's fine. buffs your oh, chrome? Gosh, let's just see if that works. <laughs> or road, wardrobe and style. Yeah, that's probably better. Wow. Well, uh, I rolls. So. Did that work? It didn't come up. That worked. Yeah. Yeah, it worked. You got at a 16. Cool. She says, yeah, "No, I." I yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I normally go here. Um, he does, he does okay work, but he does it at a really, really good price. And this tech that he's installing, it's like top of the line. Nobody else uh, is offering this kind of gear at these prices. Look, I've got cup holders all for, this? for ankles. Where's he no. getting all this top line draw stuff, man? I mean, I don't know. I don't care as long as I'm getting for the prices that he's offering them. Let's jump back over to Acid Override, and we're gonna do some more rolls in the net here, because we haven't forgot the ass. You guys have all walked out, and Acid Override's sitting there like jacked in, and he's like, <laughs> doesn't know what's going on all around oh, him. I'm just You've all walked out. No. Ray. I, I might still, still be heckling. Fools and I'm then not jumped sure. Into the... I'm just yeah, standing, I'm just smiling. Even. Um, so you're you're in, you're in there, and I'm gonna get you to make me another interface roll. So. We're going to see if we can avoid whatever's in there. We're going to try to slide. Um, go ahead and roll me a d10, please. <laughs> You're not I rolling high tonight. On that table. What is happening? You need to change out your uh, magical electronic dice. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> when we used to use fancy runs, you used to always change the color of our dice, and then we thought that would, that would do the trick. Um... So you're in there, and you're able to get past this, whatever's guarding this thing, and you see that there is a locked file in there, and it is labeled Garblag. Oh my god. Already sus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's suspicious, purely by the name. <laughs> oh, this must be related to the Garblag Corporation. <laughs> Not those assholes again, no. <laughs> <laughs> Barely a corporation. Loose affiliation. Dodgy like as hell. Shots. Gar it's it's labeled Garbleg and is highly, highly secure. But you've got a name. Can I continue to push? See how much further I can get? Yeah. Go ahead and roll me one more D ten. Ooh. 
fire. Double my usual number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's... You dig a little deeper, you get through the, the first couple layers of uh, details, and it looks like it's a it's a, it's a a corporation. It is the Garbleg Industries. And it looks like they are a new up-and-coming manufacturer of cyberware. And they are the supplier of this stuff to, uh, to Doc Rock. Uh-huh. I see what's going on here. He's getting paid to basically trial free cyberware. He's getting paid at both ends. No wonder he's so eager to pump people through. Which leads me to suspect that he is probably unwitting in this thing collecting people. So I think this corporation is our next stop for investigating. I'm not talking to anybody, am I? You're all there. <laughs> You're just talking to yourself and nobody's there. Oh, yeah, guys, yeah, I think I figured it out. Just an guys, guys, we're we're well, no, no. To you. Yeah, well, like, Vert is standing, but he's not really. He's doing He's doing what his little avatar is doing, kind of just like... <laughs> just staring off staring into the void. Staring with your mouth just... open. Are you sort of swaying <laughs> yes. slightly while you're there? Yeah. <laughs> Garbleg Industries, the vile corporation. I know. Right, right I will jack out. Okay. It's jack. Jack, I'm not going to make that joke. Yeah, Low, don't go there. The lowest don't go there. of hanging Poor fruit. Poor of words there. <laughs> the lowest of hanging of that's, fruit. That's perfectly acceptable cyber speak. Thank you. Remember, Ben knows all the lingo. I'm going to be outside lingo. by the lobster trying to find the claws. Rock lobster. Okay, feeling around. He yeah. said he'd made them invisible. I can't find them. Must be really well cyber stuck. surgery done. <laughs> nah, he walked out. The guy wasn't haggling properly. Uh, so Jay, he wouldn't haggle. You've, you've still got this woman that you're speaking to. Um, <laughs> hey, look, man. Can we? Are you sure woman. your tech is all top grade, top draw, top cool, man? Are you sure he ain't just recycling old parts from somewhere else? She's. I haven't had any issues. I've been go. I've been coming here for the last few weeks. Listen, uh, one of my chooms gave me the lowdown on this place, and I've been coming here ever since. This is how do you think I got chromed out so so fast, so nicely? So where do you think that take come from, man? I don't care. I'm getting it for good price. That's all that matters. I don't know, and I don't care. Find me another Ripper Doc that's offering this quality at this price. All right, man. Well, peace be with you, man. But you, you just keep an eye out for on yourself, man. I mean, that just still seems a little bit dodgy to me. You know what I'm saying, man? I think that crocodile on your back is dodgy. What are you talking about? Hey. Hey. <laughs> that alligator. Mr. Hessington is very is a very beautiful creature. <laughs> Mr. Hessington. <laughs> <laughs> we have not agreed on a name. <laughs> He no, 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 no. Four years <laughs> at Crocodile Medical School to be called Mr. Hissington. Yeah, he's Dr. Hissington. Hissington. Everybody's a doctor in this group. Yeah. <laughs> I'm he not actually the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you just yeah. watch your back, man, all right? You don't want to find yourself chopped up into spare parts, man. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let, let it go. I've... That's really heavy. She's like, whatever, and she just <laughs> walks away from you. Get away from Staring. me, you She looks weirdo. back every once in a while, looking at the crocodile on your back. Do you want an autograph? <laughs> <laughs> God, we are so useless. When we actually meet credible threats, they're just going to kill us instantaneously. Yeah. Well, that's where we pivot. We always pivot. We're utterly useless with inconsequential things, and then something serious comes along, and... We're still shit. We're still, yeah. <laughs> and Ben can roll properly. Yeah. Uh, All right. I, I actually know what I'm doing. So <laughs> Gar Garblake Industries. So Acid Override has a Where lead for you. Where the hell has everybody you. gone? I'm uh, standing I'm... right next to you. You just you're choosing yeah, you're to ignore me. Again, where has everybody gone? I don't know. Just like get my attention. <laughs> I'm bored. I jacked in. That could be rude. I'm out of front. Proper etiquette to observe here. Yeah, but I jack, I, I jack into myself. I just plug. I, you know when like you take like two ends of the same thing, you just plug them in on each other. Yeah, that's what I've done. I gotta, I gotta ping Ver a message on yeah. his um, agent. eyelid phone. 
Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. hey, Acids. What's up? I wasn't sure if you were jacked in or not, so I thought I'd send you a message. Oh. Where did the others go? Oh, um, so uh, Ray was like talking to, I'm just turning into fucking Luca at this point. Ray was, <laughs> Ray was, um, I begin as I, I end as I begun. Um, Ray was going to get the mods, but then the guy wasn't haggling well. So he's gone outside to find the claws that aren't actually on the vehicle, but he thinks are because he wouldn't let me in the vehicle if I didn't put the claws on and I didn't have time because I was brushing Mr. Hissington's teeth. Um, and... And, um, <laughs> Dr. And, Hissington, yeah, Dr. <laughs> and uh, Jagged has uh, went to go ask about the lady, but I, the I shiny don't, lady. yeah, the, the, but I don't know what happens with that. And I'm standing here, and I think the, the, the um, receptionist he's staring at me, and I'm staring back at him, but I don't, I, I don't quite know what, what, what I'm meant to do with this. He looks angry though. Like really so angry. You weren't actually on net. You were just staring at this poor guy. Well, yeah, he was staring at me. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I shall say to the receptionist, um, <laughs> Doctor Vert comes from the hospital, and I'll, I'll sort of steer I wish. back outside. <laughs> yeah, they don't let him near the hospital anymore. <laughs> I didn't say he was a doctor. <laughs> He clearly I stated he was like no. <laughs> no, I Jack think even if I was a patient, they'd probably kicked me out. <laughs> yep, that was my him. point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, Sad. so he's like, yeah, whatever. The kid behind right. the, the, desk. The, the, the The Ripper Doc is gone. He's no longer standing there. I guess you walked out, Ray, didn't you? When he was like trying to cut a deal with you, you just walked yeah, out? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll do fit. Oh, you've just fucked off. Okay, well, I will he go and. He was convincing. Yeah. His stuff looked a bit mucky. Yeah, he he didn't tell you to learn. Actually, you know, I got freaked out about the wheel thing, and I had to <laughs> just go and sit in the car for a while and like find my center. He can he can turn you into a unicycle, but that's like you know, that's it's really good nightmare. for parties. Yeah. All right, guys, I've got something. Ooh. What have you got? Yeah. He's shilling for a new company. Oh, pushing what? out cheap cyberware. Okay. Yeah. So I think he's claiming the cash at both ends. They're sending him free cyberware. He's billing people for fitting it. He's running experimental tech on people mm. and thinks he's just getting a good deal at both ends. So I think the next place to check out is this Garblag Industries. They sound moody at best. It's an old shake and yeah. no bake em strategy. So yeah. that, might be why, that might be why our guy's gone missing then. If he's been outed with if he's been upgraded with prototype tech from a startup company, you know, and they want to cover their tracks, maybe they're the ones that have um Yeah, I'm thinking there's a couple of options. One, they're either pulling in the prototypes and measuring responses on them. Two, they're building some kind of cyber zombie army thing. Oh, I like option two. Option <laughs> three. So do I. Army, oh, well, the ideas it doesn't look very whoa, well. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have to pull them back why, in. Why are they allowed evidence? to build a cyber zombie army? You said I wasn't allowed to do that. Yeah, cyber know, zombie that's, army, that's man. I, I mean, it if sounds a bit science fiction, man. If that's you've got, crazy like, talk. 40 pieces of plain white paper and a roll of red string i can connect the dots for you but unless you okay. can see the whole picture man you won't get it there's a picture where on all Let's those bits of paper black people right where are they that head coordinates that head yeah where's god black you 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 were able to uh to get the the information on where they're located here in the Okay, city. acid. What are my directions? Shotgun. <laughs> I don't have a shotgun. Probably for the best. I have an assault rifle. I oh, shall give you the directions to crap. go to um Yeah, who gave him an assault rifle? Doctor Doctor Vert has like the heaviest weapon in the group. <laughs> Who gave yeah, him I this? Oh, God. You Can we do. take that off? Like <laughs> pistols and stuff. You have an assault rifle. <laughs> just madness. I imagine you walking around everywhere with it just slung over your shoulder. It's kind of <laughs> like you—you you like kind of like nudge it for me, talking to people. But but it's the wrong way up. 
like I'm holding it so I would feel like I, I've got upside down or something like yeah I should give you the directions to Gar black industries turn left and there's there's a tr there's a trigger lock on it you can't you can't figure out how to take it off so Gar black industries locked to me yeah <laughs> that's it it's uh it's in the in the glen is the name the uh, area oh of my the city God. that it's in so you guys head to Garbleg Industries. You drive over there in the lobster. In. Oh wait, you can't. Ah, <laughs> hang on to something. And you I get hold on. I hold on to Ray. Not me. Get off. Oh, okay. You hold on <laughs> to Doctor Hissington. Yeah. 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 I don't want Doctor Hissington flapping about like last time. <laughs> that was unpleasant. Mostly for the very small car we drove over. It's pretty Hissing. quite unpleasant for the reptile. Yeah. Yeah. He just kind of groans. <laughs> Doctor Hissington. Stick his head out the window if he's going to be sick again. <laughs> so Holds you... his tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys head to this the the address of this Gar Blag Industries, and you get there, and this is like a shell of a building. It's like a little three-story building. It doesn't look like there's really much going on from the outside. This doesn't look like an up-and-up company that's manufacturing and producing state-of-the-art cyberware in it. This looks like a small, run-down office building from the outside. Yeah, this is shady. What We're going to have to go in. Would yeah, you, you guys... like me to ram the front doors? <laughs> No. Sorry, for a second I got confused for real life and we were actually talking about golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was... Oh! Ouch. I ran Pete's front door. He won't yeah. it. Sorry, and, Pete. And Glen... Sorry, <laughs> well, Glens Pete. are Scottish things. I'm just sitting there like, oh, okay. <laughs> so you get there and everybody go ahead and make me a perception roll as you pull up outside Ooh. this place. So not ramming speed then. Well, you can ram it if you want. I might try perception first. Let's I'll try perception. Find it. I'm also trying to find it. Uh, I'm ready. Thank you. Go to the combat. I've got human perception. Why do I have human perception? It's your ability to perceive humans. If you go fail, to combat, people yeah, are invisible. And scroll down to the bottom. Or oh. Just be worried about that. oh, it's I'll in one of the other there. tabs, obviously. You need crocodile perception. Yeah, to see. To, oh, to see awesome. Mr. Doc Jefferson. <laughs> see what kind That's of movies in today. 15 from Laser Brain. I have a 10. Even without the four eyes. I got a 13. All right. <laughs> I, switch I, switch I, up I, the music the as we get hand. to uh, Garbage. Hey, serious attention. So, Dan got. 19. Yeah, 19. Yeah. So Jagged Stone, you guys pull up, and you're all arguing about, like, this doesn't seem right. Are you sure it's the right address, Acid? Um, and you sit there, and you notice, you look through the front door. It's a glass door. And um, you see there are cameras on the inside. And then, as you notice that, there's cameras everywhere. They're concealed all around the outside. And you do see that there are guards milling about inside this building. Well, it's good that we came in a subtle vehicle, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the lobster. So, <laughs> the lobster. Uh, but it, do they, it is actually the, a lobster restaurant vehicle. <laughs> do, um, and do the guards look like professional security guards? Yeah, they're heavily armed. These guys these guys have assault rifles. And just the way they carry themselves, you know, they're not holding their rifle in the wrong direction. They know how to handle a gun. Uh, and these guys look, they're big, they're bad. Which is a little unusual for, you know, a run-down place like this. Mm. A little incongruous, one might say. I think we can assume I, that they're probably cybered as well. Yeah, I will point this out to my colleagues um, and say maybe we should. Hey, man, maybe we should go with Plan A again. The ramming plan. Is that, the ah, one? Is that Plan A? Disguise ourselves yeah, as man. boxes. We could go around the back. <laughs> You could That's plan B. You could try around the back. You could get out. You can kind of scope this place out. There, are, there are alleyways I was on either drive. side and go behind. Um, you can, yeah. Then yeah, keep driving. Subtly, stake, roll the, sneak for drive. Yeah, no, you can stake the building out. And see what's going on. This wow, is just the front. Okay. You just pulled up, and this is what Jag had noticed is, from the front. Is there any skills that would specifically aid us in this endeavor to like scope out the building? 
because there's like a bajillion skills. <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> are. There really are. Uh, I have electronic slash security tech. I'm not quite sure what that entails outside of the obvious, but. Uh, I cannot acid I, and the subvert uh, the security systems and maybe get us yeah. into that camera. Yes, circuit. acid could try that. Acid could try to turn off the cameras. And or disable maybe just the get security. us onto the cameras so we can or see what's going on in the building. Yes, yeah, Acid could do that as well. Yeah, I think I might try that. Maybe Zerk right. could build him a signal booster on top of the lobster. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'll tell you what, Vert. Well, why don't you? Why don't you uh, make us something? Okay. Uh... Let's uh, let's start playing into our our skills for all of our roles here. Okay. You're, you're the MacGyver. Um... Yes, I am. I'm trying to find my MacGyverism stuff. <laughs> MacGyver role. Yeah. MacGyver, role. <laughs> MacGyver role. So you can fabricate things, you can create things, you can upgrade items. Ooh, okay. How, how do I do so, that? So to upgrade an item, I got the book here. Nice and oh, handy. Oh, upgrade for, expertise. For I, I see my role skills. Roll tech okay. plus your tech oh, skill. That the I item roll is duct tape. You can borrow that if you know what. Sorry, I've just found my inventory. I got excited. So yes, roll, I... roll me your oh, tech sorry. skill. Okay, I shall roll tech. Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm just going to sit here staring at like... Oh. Roll, me, yeah, roll me tech. <laughs> I was so confident I knew where tech was and I've lost it. Oh, no, that's, that's not tech. I've, I can't find oh, tech. Oh, no, sorry, the tech... No, sorry, the tech skill tied to this. Well, so we're going to use that... Um, what was it? Electronics and security? Oh, right? okay. That's what you found. So, yeah, yeah, roll yeah. me electronics to security. Okay. So that's a 16. 16. Um, and we also add your tech level onto that. Don't worry about it. I'm doing it on the back end. To make this nice and easy. So, you rolled a 20 total. Boom. So, you sit there and you and Acid kind of hunkered down. And you start kind of like sizing up the situation. You point out the cameras. You're talking about possible loopholes. So you're going to give Acid some bonuses to his roles now when he goes in there to tie into the to the security systems. So when Acid rolls a two again, inevitably, it'll be much better thanks to your, your bonuses. So Acid, go ahead and roll me a d10, please. Oh, 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 so on a critical success, you roll a d10 again and you add that to your total. So on the critical failure, roll it and minus it off. So 18. Wow. Okay. This, this, here we go. Now we're doing it. Oh, shit. Yes. See? Yeah. When it's it always... counts. When it counts. It rains. Acid down. shopping down. Crocodile All right. goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, In man. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm, rock, I'm rocking it to sleep. I'm giving it a little bye. Lullaby? Who, what, Mr. Hissington? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, well, we can't dig him in there. It's dangerous. He's only a crocodile. He's wearing. He's dangerous. He's wearing a bonnet. He's <laughs> yeah. rocking him to sleep. He's got a wee willy wicky cap. <laughs> so you go in there, and with that roll, you're able to. So what did you want to do? Did you want to take control of the cameras, or did you want to like? If you take control of them, you could also look through them. Well, initially, I just wanted to take a look through them. Sure. But if I have to take control of them first, I'll do that first. Yeah, this role, this role will do that for you. So you're able to get in there. Um, and like I said, this is a three-story building, and you can cycle through the various cameras. You go through the, the ones in the in the alley and around the outside. You can see your car on there. And you start cycling through the inside. And there are guards heavily on the third floor. It looks like they're um, around a, a, an office or a server area, possibly. Uh, but the rest of the building's pretty empty. Like, there's no... You look on the second floor, it's it's gutted. There's nothing in there. There's no cubicles. There's no offices. There's no nothing. It's like an empty floor. It almost looks like they're using this as a shell or a makeshift place. It's just a front, this Garblag Industries. <gasps> mm. They're bouncing signals from one place to another. It's like taping two phones together. <laughs> like mom and dad used to. <laughs> oh, that's so old school. Do you want Do you want to go in further? Do you want to try and get in there and see if you can get some further information about 
these these garb legs and what's going well, I'm on I'm feeling pretty confident right now. I've just slid straight through all their software after that screw up in the shitty doctor. Yeah. Well, you, you've you've got you've got the good doctor helping you, so. The That's good doctor. It it's almost as if we're looking like a bunch of professionals. Yeah, the the, the Gator Gang. <laughs> they actually know what they're doing. <laughs> We have a very, a very, very specific set of skills. So specific, specific, I can't even say the word. <laughs> so specific, you can't even say it. Yep. So, so Acid, you've got a, you've got a, a, a lock in front of you. You need to get past to get some further information. Go ahead and roll me a d10, please. You've still got some bonuses from Dr. Vert. All right, all right. You're able to get past this lock information, and it looks like... This garblag is actually a um Ledger Industrial Complex. Yeah. <laughs> looks <laughs> like well, yes, it actually looks like this is actually Militech who's making this these cyberwares and distributing them oh, yeah. around the city. And they Yeah, most So Militech is one of the big, big, big bad corporations here in the future. A little bit little bit of cyberpunk history here. There's Militech, there's Biotechnica, and there's the corporations are like at war with one another. So, yes, you've heard of them, young. But, uh, so, Militech is supplying this, this um, experimental cyberware out onto the streets to these various Ripper docks. And it looks like it is causing some sort of malfunctions or this supposed cyberpsychosis in these people. But it looks like from what you've able to uncover that they are actually taking these subjects, test subjects away and doing experiments on them. So they are not falling subject to cyberpsychosis. It appears so. And once they are rendered um, either dead or they incapacitate them, they're loading them up on trains and they're taking them out to facilities outside of Night City to further experiments on these people. Hey, Acid, bad how, bad you, are, how bad are these guys? Because I, I don't know. Like, Acid's obviously getting this information. Are these, like, super, super bad guys? Or are these just, like... <laughs> how bad are they? With me surrounded by all these virtual screens yeah. and glowy lights and big goggles and plugs in yeah. the back of my head. And this little voice going, Are they the bad guys? <laughs> <laughs> are they the super, super he's, bad guys? He's, he's like leaning in close and whispering on, in your ear. Are they the bad guys? Can I get a location on their out-of-town base? Yeah, so they are way, 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 way out in the outskirts outside Night City. Night City, for those who don't know either, it's in Los Angeles. The kind of the backstory on it is... I don't know I don't know if any of you have been to Los Angeles, but... Um, I remember when I was there, you, driving from like Anaheim because it was a Disney, and driving to actually like proper Los Angeles. It's like one big city. There's no division where all these little cities individually stop, and that's what Night City is in the future. So Night City is just this big giant conglomerate of like Los Angeles that's taken over. So um, way out in the outskirts is this, and it would be under heavy, heavy, heavy lock and key if it's Militech. This is like high grade military corporation these they're at war with the other corporations the reason also this is called red is because their a uh, nuclear bomb went off in night city and the night sky due to this nuclear bomb is red it shines red but this is what corporations fighting one another in the city that end up causing this so these corporations are bad people and you don't want to typically mess with them but you do see that there are there is a train leaving tonight with subjects on it the, the latest subjects that have been rounding up rounded up and it looks like uh, the guy who hired you. Yeah, I bet. Get up. It looks what? like his buddy might be on this train, headed out to this bet, secret yeah. Militech. We gotta intercept yeah, the train. Is yeah. that what you're saying? I bet. Good old on there. Yeah, man. Right, I'll just pull myself out of the web and relay that information back to the rest of them. Guys, look, this is Militech. This is way above our pay grade, but. <laughs> Yeah, we're not getting paid We've enough been for that. To find this one guy. We've been hired to find this one guy. He's being loaded onto a train and shipped out tonight. If we can get him tonight, we're quids in. Otherwise, he's gone. He's in deep Militech, secure territory, and we ain't getting anywhere. No, yet. we're not ramming that. That's not happening. Ray, when's the last time you did a train job? Uh, Tuesday. <laughs> You're in practice then. Yeah. 
because that's what we've got. All right. That is vehicle, Tuesday, man. Do we take the train before it leaves the station? Or yeah, I made this train, train job. Uh, it looks after. Based off the, the time currently, it looks like this thing's already en route. So you're going to have to drive out there, drive out into the country, into the outskirts, and I'm already make your way moving onto this case. train and infiltrate it. I am I'm now okay. donutting my way out of the car park very Thank loudly, you. given it's I a half track. I, I, I stick my arm out the window and flip off the guys that are on car train. <laughs> <laughs> Assholes! Really living the cyberpunk idea. I might just reverse through the front door and then speed off. <laughs> when right. you start to reverse, I'm like, go, 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 no, don't actually, don't actually, I have nothing to bag this up with. Don't get cocky. Uh, oh, boy. Laser brain. All right, all right. Pedal to the metal. I love like, See, I bet you're glad you have feet still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if I had wheels, I could just zip off on my own, couldn't I? But what I about my doctor, is he? Right, anyway. Okay, Acid. Give me directions to the train. And I shall do just that. All right, Turn Dr. Hissy. Left. I'm going to be he, your son. He does In have a seatbelt because we don't yards. want him to get out. <laughs> yeah, only Dr. Hissington has a seatbelt. He yeah, he's got webbing. It's not just a belt. There's a whole bunch of webbing just to <laughs> nail harness. that crocodile down. Which doesn't work at all like the dolphin in The Boys. I think, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah I'd like the, the crocodile way. suspended from the ceiling because it's kind of bouncing in the webbing. Yeah. I think that'd and when, be more and when pleasing. you guys go out, uh, when you leave the lobster car or whatever it is, Jagged Stone carries him in a baby Bjorn. That's how. <laughs> that's, there we go. That's how he Leather wears. baby Bjorn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cause rock, yeah. yeah, with with like silver studs on it. Or yeah, it's bedazzled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> why, why don't we have that scene? That since... <laughs> Jagged's trying to buy a baby Bjorn for a crocodile. That's in we're not doing the shopping channel. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very true indeed. Okay, this let's was... stop this train. All right. Bye, Wolves speed towards the train and yeah, the, the you, other one's plan barrel towards the train you guys follow the coordinates i'm gonna say acid with your rolls and everything you were able to get the gps coordinates of this train so you're tracking it real time as you're heading out there can i rig some kind of like not a big explosion but like just a little one to kind of like <laughs> hot <Light> one <laughs> yeah well we, we need to we need to stop the train somehow we don't need to stop the train we're better off not stopping the train if we stop the train you don't want to know we've stopped the train yeah all you of probably... the security guys are going to come pouring out oh, exactly okay. you probably don't want to draw attention to yourselves by like train. derailing a military train <laughs> oh that was plan a all right not that <laughs> um, oh just a little just sticky one that we stick target. to a door and it pops off the door yeah, flies off and we jump in or oh, some sort of harpoon yeah. gun Oh, I can make that. Yeah. yeah. Some, yeah. One now, of you guys has. Yeah, one of you has a grapple cool. gun, I think. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. It's one of you has a grapple me. gun. I'm gonna have a look. Not I me. think it's. I think it's Doctor Vert. It's gonna oh, be Doctor Vert. Vert. I have Bohemian so jewelry. No, I don't. I have. Um, I don't. I have a disposable cell phone, road flare, duct tape, tech bag. Oh, no shit! It's me. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. I actually have a grapple gun. Yeah. Dr. Vert it's has me. the burner. I have a grapple gun. <laughs> of and course rope. I have the burger. I also have and an, an anti-smog bed. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. reasons yeah. I don't want to discuss. Well, oh, should I shoot them with the gun? <laughs> no. That's the most sensible thing to do. Is to punch <laughs> open the side of the frame. Right. Extract the target yes. okay. and leave. Yes. One but, target goes missing, they're not going to object oh, quite so strenuously as if we derail a military train. But what about everyone else? And fuck up an entire shipment of military weapons grade cyber. What if yeah, there's what, anybody else in there, though? Yeah, we're leave well, we them. can't let them get taken. Yeah, maybe you can get no, money we'll for them. As many as yeah, can. exactly. I'm not doing this for fun. Them. No, we're doing it for Okay, yeah, who's, exactly. who's going to go in? Who's going to jump in, in, in there then? Well, I've got to steer the vehicle. I'm, I'm imagining everyone's level. doing the nose thing where they. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> <laughs> I might be Doctor Vert. Like, even Dr. even Vert? What do you think? even Doctor Hesse is doing that, like with his little <laughs> snout. I will hand over my grapple gun to Doctor Vert. 
Oh, oh, oh you want me to? Oh, oh, oh. Well, oh. No, we want you to shoot the grapple gun oh. and fit it to the side of the vehicle. Okay, so yeah, I don't want to go in there. I, I, yeah. I, I'm squishy. Acid's got to mess around with their security system so they don't know we're there. We're all slowly turning to <laughs> Jagged. <laughs> jagged? Um, what are you doing? <laughs> well, man, I'll go. Oh, I'll, I, I, I'll, I'll go with you, Jagged, so that in case we need to grab anyone else. We don't know how heavy these guys will be. I imagine, I imagine like full modded people probably weigh a little bit extra, so it might be a bit difficult. Yeah, so get Ma make up some of them rolly carabiner things, and we can do a zip line between the train Ooh. and the lobster. We'll open the that side is, door. We we'll just slide nigh people in. Going, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Sounds cool. As long okay. as I match velocities correctly, it'll go fine. All right, yeah. that's why we have a good driver. That's yeah. right. Yeah, you got the wheel man. So that's you, I, I, I have, have a flares if we need um, road flares. <laughs> what, like really wide bomb trousers? <laughs> no, no road flares, <laughs> like the like big. Psh. Yes, I know. Oh, okay. Okay, right. So that's the plan. Got it. I'm gonna All probably right. forget the plan. So you guys it, barrel out of the city, breakneck speeds. It takes you about an hour. You catch up to this train. This train is it's an engine and two cars. And it's very nondescript. Like, it does not I look beg like... I it. sorry to break the tension. I'm going to have to take a two-minute stop. Uh, so... I was going to do a Thomas the Tank Engine reference, so I <laughs> think, you know... <laughs> um, Are you saying you need a nature break? Uh, no, I'm Pete not saying that, because that's what Pete says. <laughs> but, yes. And Pete runs a, a front company for Miltech. So. Yeah, so I don't want to annoy him um, <laughs> by using his phrases. <laughs> yes, if we can take a, a, mind if we take a couple of minutes. Yeah, an you guys want to take break. a quick break and then we'll come back? Yeah. That okay, sounds awesome. good. We'll be right back. Thanks. After this well, word from our sponsors. Don't...
Okay, we're back from our. What did you guys call it? What's what's what what does Pete call the break? The, the, la- the, the, the WC. Break. The, the WC. Some break. kind of decorum in not telling people that you're going for a pee. Yeah. <laughs> the water closet. To answer the call of nature. Arr! There you go. Yeah. There's a big horn and everything. I have one. Where is mine? <laughs> I have a horn here somewhere. All right, no need to brag about your big horn. I was gonna oh. say no. Eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy wow. shit, that's awesome. I think his is bigger than yours now. <laughs> yeah, I, it's the horn of Gondor. <laughs> Careful uh, how you blow that thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to Cyberpunk. <laughs> all right, so you guys are speeding up. I can't get the chat to work on my Twitch, whatever. Yeah, people have been saying Twitch is acting a little bit funny. Oh, yeah. is it? Interesting. Well, hopefully they can hear us and see us just fine, but I can't get the chat to load and it keeps cycling on my end we seem to be back on okay that's fine all right so you follow the gps signal you get back you get to this train you see it barreling down the tracks there's no markings there's no it's not marked with militech on the side or anything um there's an engine and there's two cars very discreet nondescript just traveling down the tracks uh ray you think no you can you can you can match some sp- speed with this thing, and um, get some people over onto the onto the uh, the train cars itself. As you're driving up, you also notice that there's there's no like doors on the sides of these trains or anything like that. Uh, but there is a hatch on the top of the back car, which would probably be your most discreet way of getting in there without calling attention. Because there are there is a gap between each train car as well, and there's doors there that would lead to each section. But um, that would definitely we detach a whole car. You could try yeah. to detach a car. I have explosives. <laughs> I don't, but I can make them. You want a small <laughs> explosion. I'm just wondering if maybe we could just like pull out a pin and let them head off. And well, well, just... <laughs> well, it might be something a little bit more digital, I'm hoping, given we're like in a cyberpunk future. <laughs> maybe digital, a button. A, a digital lock? <laughs> no. Uh, well, you could like. You couldn't pull a pin when it's moving because of the <laughs> they're pulling on each other, like on the car I've seen coupling. It oh, oh, is that how they work? I don't care. I'm learning something new. <laughs> it's called physics. It's called yes. Uh, <laughs> sh- <laughs> and it major in physics. <laughs> so, oh, uh, let's put some more music on as you pull up on this. All thing. right. So, up on this thing. I will relay this to Jagged because I'm not telling Doctor Vert. There's no point. Um, <laughs> Jagged, there's a hatch on top of the last car. Acid, can you hook into their Wi-Fi from here? Here we go. <laughs> They're wee What What do you want me to do? Uh, look pretty. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I can do. <laughs> so... Ray, go ahead and make me a drive land vehicle. I had a feeling that was going to go up at some point. Beside this thing and keep up with it, keep pace, you know, avoid running things over or into things along the way as you're driving next to the tracks. Problem with that, but. Oh, yeah, 17. Very good. So you match speeds with this thing. You keep just behind it uh, so that you're not detected. And you're, 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 you've matched speeds. So. You could probably. I mean, it's radar shadow. You are in its radar shadow. Like a ghost. If you will. Or a lobster. A ghost lobster. <laughs> ghost lobster. <laughs> so, what are the other folks wanting to do? <laughs> I will try and hack the, the train's systems from where we are and see how much control I can get. We can pinpoint which carriage our target is in um, oh gosh I, I'm looking through my skills desk but see if I can be useful uh, go go ahead and, and roll me a d10 please acid I, I could try painting <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at you who knew oh hey, god oh look at that alright so you go ahead and <laughs> and you tie oh. into the interface and it looks like um you're going to have to go inside and physically connect to the systems in here if you're going to want to do anything. 
the system's hardened. I'm going to have to go over. Alright. Oh. Like so over, you and Jaggy like, are going to go over. Oh. Dr. Vert, you stay yeah. here yeah. and man the grapple gun for when we Ooh, need to okay. bring people back. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I'm going to yeah, try yeah, and yeah. stay in the radar shadow of this train. Awesome. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Did I get to shoot the gun? You might need to for these two to get over. Depends whether they okay. feel like leaping from one moving vehicle to another. No, I, I that doesn't sound and like smile. Fun. I'm not looking anymore. I'm just smiling at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a rabbit. Oh, okay, planned. you've hit the rabbit. It's it's, it's fine. It's, it's all Squish. right. Yeah. So yeah. go ahead and uh, you're going to shoot the, the grapple gun. Yes, um, I don't have the grapple gun, though, so how do I shoot the grapple gun? Go ahead okay. and just roll handgun, like in your um. Oh, I have, a, I have a zero in that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've got it's an good 11. enough. I just wanted to make sure uh. you didn't critically fail. That's all this was, because it's a it's a it's a big target, but you can critically yeah, yeah, yeah. fail this. It's a train. I, yeah. I, I, I do this. I do like the. <laughs> so you. I told this... you you got to turn it to the side, like proper cyber. Yeah. Easy. All right, so you fire this thing out the window and uh, connects, <clears throat> clanks onto the train. It goes all the way to the top and it kind of latches on to where that, um, <laughs> where that entry point is on top of the, uh, the furthest train back. So do people now want to crawl across or leap from the moving car? What do you want to do? I think going across the rope is probably a better idea than yeah, trying to Yeah, I think jump. so too. Don't worry, I'm holding on tight to it. Oh god. Jumping's more rock and roll though. Jumping is more rock and roll. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as long as you nail that landing. Everybody but, but is, yeah. who's heading over, go ahead and make me an athletics roll. Please. Is Jagged like one of those young hip rock stars, or is he one of the older the old rock stars? <laughs> oh no, like fat, just a little bit of shape, you know. <laughs> so, Acid, you make it over there, no problem. You're up on top of the, the train car. It's speeding, the wind's blowing, and you've got you're at this hatch, and you can it's not locked or anything. You can open this thing up. You open it up. And you look down, and inside this train car, it looks like it's piled up with crates and boxes. And you do see that there are a couple of what appears to be, like, low-grade kind of security that's been hired to, to to guard this thing, at least in this train. You don't see, like, the highly trained Militech officers um, moonlighting as security guards like you did in the, in the Garblag Industries. They got security. Cheap ones, though. Oh, are you doing, like, the comms? I'm hoping we've got headsets. Are you just we should you guys do have comms. Again, <laughs> you know. They've got security! <laughs> what? I can't hear you. It's too loud. What? What's he saying? So, okay. it's not going to help if we decouple the back car, because then... Well, do, it, do I... Am I able to find out what car our targets... Target or targets are in? They're not in this car, and there's only one other car and then an engine. So you're assuming they're probably in the, the engine. <laughs> so process of engine. elimination. They're the guards. <laughs> uh, That's cunning. That's clever, that is. Oh, oh look at that. Hello. Critical success. 22. Jagged right, Stone. It was you... more rock and roll. You just jumped it, didn't you? Yeah, you just did like a tightrope walk across this thing. Playing the guitar as he went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stealthily. Stealthily, yes. It's not it, it's not plugged into an amp, so it's just him mashing. It's really keys. low chords. You can't hear, you just feel them. <laughs> it's actually just one of those guitar hero things with like the bright <laughs> colorful vines. <laughs> it doesn't make any noise at all. Clack, 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 clack. Click, 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 click. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. Okay. okay so we so... can either go in here and try and take them out, or we can go into the next car. Acid's in. Acid and Jagged are over. Doc and Ray, do you want? Do you want to stay behind? Do you want to try and get over there as well? Oh, uh, I think I have yeah, to save the car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can just tell Doctor Hissington to uh, drive the no, car. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm not trusting <laughs> that crocodile with my car again. Again, <laughs> last time. 
We had to extract <laughs> it from a shopping centre. <laughs> but on a joyride, so we did. We got very upset Probably about once. those handbags. Just... Mm. Dr. Vert so... is the one with the assault rifle. <laughs> Alright, Dr. Vert, you're up. Oh, yeah, Vert, I'm going across? You. They oh. need you. Oh, okay. Uh, Just right, hook Dr. Hessington, you hold the gun. grappling hook. Yeah, hold give it the... Do oh, good. oh, yeah, yeah, good plan. Just attach it to the connection on the door where it's yeah, supposed exactly. to go. Oh. <laughs> Wrap oh. around. Yeah, a seat remember you built that housing for the grapple gun? Do you remember that? You I, did that. I, yeah. yeah. Oh, All right. I did. I thought it was a cup holder. Make me an athletics roll there, Doc. Oh, God. Would you believe that athletics is not great? I could tell you you have a re roll, but you never use them. You so have... Oh, Holy what? Shit. The what? <laughs> Wow! Well, that's all of his dice rolls used up. Yeah, yep. yeah. Man, I'm gonna be shit now. I'm gonna end up like wow. you guys. Whew. I don't know. You, I just you... jump. <laughs> yeah, you leap from the car onto the top of the train. You bypass. Oh, you couldn't fly. Okay. Oh, that's just... Wow, Doctor Bird. Pole vaulting in college. No, that's Finally worked gross. out the jets on his cyber boots. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, All right, I'm, I've got my I've got my rifle. What do you need? Who do you need shot? Everyone in here. <laughs> oh, okay. Can I can I peek my head in to see how many is there? Yeah, what Just like I'll a little do peek. is let's move you guys <gasps> over battle map to a map. So Take they a little oh, mirror out. <laughs> sad. I'm still in the car. Oh well. <laughs> you can you can we can we can say like this is the future. And I don't want you to sit out here yeah. and just listen to these we guys have talk bionic for crocodiles. the next little while. That you can set this thing to drive. You you put it in uh, cruise control. Auto drive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cruise control, and you hop over there because I don't want you to have to just sit in your car. Yeah, it's 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 cruise control. The autopilot is our yeah. famous actor by the last name of Cruise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, <laughs> so go ahead boom. and make an athletics roll there, Ray. Oh, this is where I fall off the car. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Your uh, own car runs you over. <laughs> yeah, that would be the way that Ray would want to go. Oh. Killed by a lobster. Oh, here we go. Three, no! Oh, 12, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not brilliant, but... <laughs> no, but a 12 is enough that you, you make it across. And so you guys are all in the back of the car now. And these guys haven't seen you. They haven't noticed you. Um, I think I kind of hunch and I kind of get up to where the rest go, right lads, what's going on? And it was like, who the fuck is driving the car? <laughs> Let's click this over so the people it's watching like... can also see our map. There we go. People at home can see the map. All right. So you have these guys here. It's stealth. There's no computer terminals or anything like that um, whatsoever. It's just a, a cart full of boxes and a few like guards they are kind of sitting around when I'm smoking. They're playing cards. They're chatting. Oh, did I say this thing was two cars? It's three cars. I'm sorry. Look at that. Boom. Magically, another car appears. You're in the last car. All right. It's three cars long. Now that I see my <laughs> battle map and realize there's three cars. Um, I want to ask them to surrender peacefully. I'm going to sneak. Can I sneak, please? Yes. You can roll stealth. What do you want to do? You want to sneak up on them and or past them? The, the door is between you and them. There's a little door I icon. I'm very good at sneaking. Right there. Uh, I would like to sneak into a more advantageous position for when ah, the shit does hit the fan. Because gotcha. it will. I like it. it. It does. When, well, yeah, when it inevitably does. Yeah, with this bunch of nerf herders. Sneaky McSneak. Scruffy haired nerf herders. That's the ones. Alright, 22. Holy I run wow. with this crew before I know what they're like. Yeah, you can get up right like to the boxes, right by these guys. They the have point. no idea you're there with a 22, and you're right up on them. What do you have for weapons on your? On I your have a couple right? of heavy pistols and a heavy melee weapon, which I so, like to think is some sort of tire iron. Yeah, you can see. That's the neat thing about this as well. It's very abstract. You can basically make it whatever you want. It could be a baseball bat. It could be a katana. It could be a really big tire iron. They don't really classify each specific fish. weapon as its own thing. So yeah, you can say it's a tire it's a iron. Sort of a cyberpunk wrench. Oh, it's a cyborg a wrench. A cyberpunk wrench. Yeah. It's a regular wrench, but it glows blue and has wires glued <laughs> yeah, to the side of it. Yeah, it's got neon and a couple of valves on it. <laughs> no, that'd be it's steampunk for, if it's got it's valves It's for tightening it. up the half track. I don't, I don't know what shoulder arms are, but they're a ranged weapon in this game. 
I think it's a little pop-up cannon, like Predator, I presume. Oh, oh, really? Holy shit! Yeah, you got That's daft cool. shit, man. <laughs> You're basically artificer level, aren't you? You got whatever crazy nonsense you want to have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, who wants to go next? Does I, everyone I I want to sneak up on them, or are you like so? Ray is oh, in a good little spot here. They have no idea that he is there. Where's the nearest access point that I could? So tap you can into tell that it's it's from. in the next train car. I won't make you roll for that. You okay. Can, you can t scope out this train. Yeah. So I know we a, need to get into the next car so I can a, tap it's, in. Okay. It's a health no and safety thing. You know, you can't have very, the access port in the blast. To start playing on my I I will attempt to sneak <laughs> in and go to here. Okay. If I may. Yeah, go ahead and roll me a stealth. So. Stealth. Uh, 15. Yeah, 15 is good. 15 is a high enough number. So you can get up over there and you're kind of between a couple crates or on top of some crates, whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Uh, what I was trying to hide behind these dark rectangular ones. So okay. If, I don't know if they're higher or not. Yeah, you're 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 up behind them. Yeah, sort of there. So jagged and oh, there's jagged stones. Uh, <laughs> character. Jagged. Icon. Do you want to do you want to go next, or do you want me to stealth? Because I don't think I'm good at stealth. I mean, I'm not good at jumping either, but I did that pretty well. So I don't know. I think you should stealth. Okay. Leave I, they're yourself. gonna see me. Uh, I mean, I'm good at shooting. I think I'm I don't know. You, man. Just distract them. I got a seventeen. Well, yeah, that's good. Where, where you want to move up to? Move your move your uh, token where you want to go. Uh, can I go? Uh, oh, probably go just here. Like kind of behind. Sure. This looks like behind Crates stuff. Crates and boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. And Jagged? Now Jagged can just drop in through the hole in the wall and like play a power chord, Bling. and then when they all look up, we just open up on them and like, yeah, that works for me. So I'm gonna drop down. Yep. Can I make a performance roll? Yes, <laughs> you can. You're gonna, okay, so hold you're on. gonna plug your guitar into your pocket amp I and pop, pop, pocket amp. Yeah. Yeah. And, bring it uh, <laughs> and you want to try and sway these people with your charisma these these i don't know um uh, they, they might be cops. fans they might be they fans might be. no yours. i know this this is what he's doing this is what he's made for uh, whoa i didn't know we'd get a live show working at this gig <laughs> go ahead and roll me a d10 please jagged would it be um Oh my god, I got a skill here called wardrobe. Yes, you yeah. do. You yeah. have points in wardrobe, I know. We all do. You said your don't. outfit. <laughs> I don't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Doctor. I also <laughs> have no points in wardrobe. The only things I have points in are conversation EMP and human perception EMP. <laughs> and persuasion for some strange reason. I think EMP here is empathy rather yes, than empathy. electromagnetic pulse. Oh. But uh. With cyberpunk, one needs to be clear about that. <laughs> <laughs> Jagged, go ahead and roll me a d10. d10. Uh, as you, yeah. as you plug in your keytar, a little mini laser light show starts oh shooting my off here. Oh, that's not good. Uh, and you mash terrible. the first couple keys, and all of a sudden these three guards turn around and they draw their weapons. Like, who the hell is there? Who's that playing the kazoo? <laughs> and I, I, I guess we're gonna enter combat? Question marks. Oh, like. Uh, so it's initiative. Oh, I saw a dice thing for that somewhere. Yes. So, the second icon on the top is a fist. If you right-click that fist, it'll actually pop out the initiative tracker, oh. which is nice and handy. And there's also a die yeah. next to your name. You click that die, and it'll roll initiative for you on the combat tracker. I am the... Oh, my God. I got a 10, which is not great. <laughs> yeah, well... Oh no! I'm, I'm gonna be right at the bottom. I am. Uh... All right, we'll save something no. for you. I'm right. Rock, I don't know why I said the rocker boy is already gone. 
that's weird. Uh, let's begin combat. All right, so all of a sudden you plug in your guitar, you start playing. I don't know why there's two things around a couple players either, but uh, you start playing, Ooh. and they whip around, they draw their guns, and they're like, who the hell are you? How did you get in here? Uh, but you get to go first. You have the jump on them. Not Jagged not Stone. Pop. Yeah, potentially. Shoot the flamethrower at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> As if oh. Dr. Vert's got round and fit in there. That, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> to know it's a bubble dispenser. It might be invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Dr. Vert definitely put it in, but he was like, oh, but I think a confetti shooter would be much more interesting than a flamethrower. I'm going to I'm gonna <laughs> rift on my guitar. <laughs> And just point at them and say, surrender. <laughs> love it. Uh, go ahead and roll me Hello. intimidate. Is there it. an intimidate in this game? That's a good question. Let's see. Every Don't... every skill but intimidate. I don't think there is an intimidation. No, I don't remember seeing one. Well, there's certainly persuade. No, I think there. I, I remember seeing an intimidation. Mm. In the... If only there was some sort of search function. Go ahead and roll persuasion. I don't think there is an intimidation. Oh, weird. You're the in... list of 37 skills. Roll me persuasion. Interrogation. Interrogation. Yeah, that's yeah, the closest that, that, to it, I yeah. guess. The closest, yeah. All right. Oh, that's a nice 20. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Let me do some rolling here on my end. Be runaway scared, says. Whoa. Whoa, extreme Whoa. zoom in. Why did that just happen? Extreme close up. Now they can really see your icon. <laughs> Alright, so you do so, you start playing your guitar, and you notice that one of them he, he he's got his pistol out, and he starts to kind of sweat a little bit. And you see he kind of puts the pistol down, and you notice the glint in his eye that he's recognized you. He knows who you are, and he's torn. He does not want to shoot. He does not want to shoot someone that he is a huge fan of. He, he does not want to be the one to end Jagged Stone's life. And one of them, he's, he's conflicted, and he's kind of putting his pistol down uh, a little bit. And he's not uh, active in this in this encounter currently. We'll He's him. got morality. Shoot him. <laughs> yeah, shoot him. Yeah, take that one out first. We'll mark him. Yeah, I see you have played Cyberpunk boss. before. We'll mark him on the map here. All right, so you were able to um, stop one of these guys. Netrunner. Oh, I don't know call you Netrunner. Acid Override. Uh, basically, everybody else, they, they don't know you're there. They've only seen Jagged Stone. So you can go ahead and, and take a shot. On one of yeah, these I guys. think I might do that actually. I mean, I know we're not big fans of wet work, but <laughs> yeah, I don't like yes. having to clean my trunks afterwards. So, what what weapons do you have, Acid? I have a big ass handgun. It's a very heavy pistol. It's I'm not just a heavy pistol. A it's very heavy. You're like a blunderbuss, only cyber. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> A hand Holy cannon. Cyber. Side blunderbuss. So anybody who's got pistols actually will get to go more than once on their turn. They get to take more than one shot. Sweet. Mm. Oh no, sorry. The very heavy pistol doesn't. So if you have a medium pistol or a heavy pistol, uh, they have a rate of fire of two. So do melee weapons. So anything with a rate of fire two actually means you get to do two attacks on your turn. If it's got a rate of fire one, you do one attack. So the very heavy pistol only has uh, has a one rate of fire. So you get to take one shot with this thing, but it does more damage. Um, Alton, is that is that Snowpiercer? It yes. is. That's yeah. Snowpiercer. Yes. Yeah. Oh, behind you. Uh, so also, if anybody has melee weapons, to kind of balance things out between melee and, and ranged combat in Cyberpunk... Um, melee weapons actually ignore half of the target's armor if they're wearing armor. So if you run up there and you want to take a chance and try and hit them with something, you can actually potentially do more damage by ignoring armor. Uh, whereas ranged weapons are always going to, you're going to have to go through their armor first before you do any damage. Ooh, wrench an, time it is. It's a neat little thing. And also, so if you're wielding a wrench, so you have two rate of fire weapons, uh, rate of fire two weapons, 
you could actually attack with two different weapons on your turn. You could shoot them with a pistol that's a rate of fire two, and also run up and whack them with a wrench that's a rate of fire two. And you can like break it up. It's it's actually really neat. The combat's they've very got, dynamic in this. If they've got bolted armor, you can unscrew it. <laughs> <laughs> and then shoot them. Yeah. 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 So go ahead and click your attack for me, please. Acid. Woo! Critical success. So that is a hit. <laughs> You don't. Uh, go ahead and roll Ooh, damage, me yes. your damage, please. Oh, you got a Yowzers. crit on your damage. <laughs> so when you roll two or more sixes on damage, it's a critical success. And what that means is you get to click on the critical table and do a critical injury to them. So on Foundry, right below your roll, like, do you see where it says public roll? To the yep. left of that is like a bullseye or two circles. Click on oh, that. Oh, is that what that is? And click on critical injury body. I've put the tables in here, and you're going to roll a critical injury on a table to see where you hit them, what you did. It doesn't say anything. It just says roll, table, pop out, and close. There's nothing you, on the table. You know why? Because I did not share it with the players. Uh, Give me one moment, please, to fix that. Fucking behavior. <laughs> what a guy. Um, all where? learning. Yep. All the time. Vert's going to have to learn to play the gun out shoots. to the, the ambient cyber music. Yes, it's off. awesome. Yeah. I hope they can hear this. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but what I like, though, is that it occasionally stops, and it, I often think, oh no, is it stopping because we're doing something important? And it'll stop, like, when we're trying to jump the, the train, and I'm like... <gasps> Can That's you fine. see this, it now, this music is from This music is from Jagged Stone's second album. <laughs> Is that the concept album? When you click it now, are you able to see it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, perfect. Roll me an injury. I got crit injury body or crit injury head? Body, please. You only hit the head if you specifically say you want to target the head and then there's negative. Oh, okay. I would like to target the head, please. Oh, Dismembered boom. leg. All right, so oh, you, you oh level your very heavy pistol. Oh, you're, you've God. got like an advantage. Boom. He has no idea you're there. You shoot, you hit him right in the leg. His leg just like blows like in half at the knee. It just psh, you shred it and he drops to the ground screaming in pain as you do so. And there is blood everywhere. And um, how much damage? You 19? These guys are weak. Uh, these guys are really weak. Say, he's, he he's dead. He's done. He's bleeding out on the floor. Oh, gosh. Well, Mark. How are his fellows feeling about that? Uh, well, the, the one is still starstruck over there. Uh -huh. Whoa. <laughs> Bits of blood are coating his face. A leg. <laughs> Just flying about. Okay, hey, Adam, you've got to kill the one that's not starstruck. All right. I'm going to go... Um. See, I'm in such a lovely sneaky position, but I'm just going to charge him, I think. Well, you could shoot him and then him. charge him, couldn't you? Do I get any bonuses from shooting from stealth? Um, no. Yeah, I'm going to, the difficulty is going to be lower. That's the bonus you're going to get. Oh, let's do that. So it'll be, it'll be easier to hit them. I will shoot. Um, the one who's not starstruck. And sure. The one who's not dead. <laughs> just cause... Ah, da, 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 da. Go to combat. Go to where's it gone? Heavy pistol. And kaboom! <laughs> Blackjack. Yeah, you hit him. Uh, and then a crunch. Ah, oh, it's just crap. Ooh. Disappointing. Ooh, that is disappointing. But then you can finish him off so with the a... tire iron to the face. Yeah, so that's your shot. So you hit him with a yep. shot. Now you can run over there. And you can hit him in the face of your tyrant. The other neat thing, too, is if you have movement left over, you can, like, move away from this. You can, like, run down a hallway, shoot at someone, continue running down the hallway, smack someone in the face with a katana, and keep moving if you still have more movement left. I get behind him. Ah, uh, yeah. Just because I'm like that. And I'm battering him around the back of the head. Um. So roll me another attack. Yeah, Bang! That's a, that's a critical success. Yeah, you hit him. Um, See, it, it all comes through thump. when it counts. <laughs> all right, so you run over there, you shoot him, run behind him, hit him with a tire iron, uh, but he's still up. But he's in rough shape. He's going to turn around and he's going to shoot you with his pistol, or try to shoot Hello. you with his pistol. <laughs> hey. 
He's like, he's, he's got blood and he's like, oh, oh. I'm gonna try and shoot you. He's got a very heavy pistol. Uh oh. <laughs> Hello. Yes, he rolled a 20. <laughs> now, the way combat works for you guys uh, is a little bit different. They need to roll against a number and beat a number to actually hit you. Okay. So what you're going to do is you are going to go ahead and roll me uh, evasion, please, off your character sheet. And whatever yes. you roll, he needs to beat that to hit you. So you want to roll higher than a 20. <laughs> I rolled a Ooh. All right. I think I have a re-roll. You do have a re-roll. I think you guys all it. have re-rolls. Um, no. So he, uh, you're able to just kind of like sidestep as he shoots and you kind of like counter with your tire iron and hit his hand aside and the shot just kind of like hits right at your feet. That's very rude. The other one's starstruck. <laughs> He's like putting his pistol no, away no, no, and he's no. getting out like a little notepad. Uh, let's jump over <laughs> to Dr. Vert. He's covered in the blood of his, <laughs> yeah. his okay. colleague. So there's one guy who's starstruck and there's another guy who's really beat up. Yes. 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 The one okay. that uh, that Ray is by is really, really beat up. The other one's on the ground with his leg blown off and yeah, another guy's taking out an autograph book. Okay, I'm going to shoot the, the almost dead guy. Um, sure. That, that Ray was uh, battering, and then I'm gonna run past all of them to get to the next door. I'm not gonna go through. I just want to, if I can, I just want to be like waiting, just in case someone tries to come through, and I can like close the door on them or something. I sure. The plan. So you're just gonna fire your assault rifle at them? Yep. So I'll attack first. Uh, so that this is. Why I always 18. keep someone between me and Doctor Ver. <laughs> it's an 18 to hit. <laughs> 18 to hit. Yeah, I... That does not hit. You nope. can spend two luck and it will hit. If right. I don't, is someone going to get shot? Just like spend, that the luck. Spend, okay, the luck. Yeah, spend the luck. Well, I, I thought... Or funny. use your reroll. Oh, now you're conflicted. Oh. Nai who never uses yeah. his rerolls. Or Nai who doesn't lose his, yuck, his luck. It's yuck. Yeah, I'll use but the reroll. Yeah. You do have rerolls. Thank you. <gasps> Thank we got him before the people. end of the year. Oh, that was a crap oh, failure. failure. I never want. I've, I never want you to reroll again. I've been put oh, off them. That is a critical failure. Roll another d10. We're going to subtract that from your number. Oh dear. It's a miss. It's a miss I, anyway. I have a phobia of the, the reason they they make you. That was a one. I think I clicked on the wrong thing, but it's a one in the public roll. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. The reason it's, they it's make another you, one. they make you roll and subtract is because your skills and all your bonuses can get so high that you can still succeed even on a critical failure, and that's why they right, right okay take subtract it off there. But um, yeah, so <laughs> it goes to Doctor Vert, pulls out this big giant assault rifle, and just ah! <laughs> covers the back wall uh, behind these guys with bullet holes and hits nothing. It's got a kick that I wasn't prepared for. <laughs> but I still want to run past. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use your movement. What's your move? That's the number of squares you can move. Oh, okay. I'll be, like, really low, and I end up, like, halfway between uh, What's my your move. Whatever your move stat is. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll... It's equal to that. It's one of your base stats. Uh, I'll just roll my eyes as he runs past. <laughs> my move is six. Uh, six, yeah, six. Yeah, so you can move six it's squares towards the door. to have someone incompetent run with a machine gun, spraying <laughs> fire and hitting nothing whilst screaming. Yeah, he doesn't that hit anything. Is. That's all right. <laughs> it is. Uh, it, it does waste ammo, though, I will admit. All right. So you go ahead and you sprint up there. Uh, you move six squares. We're back to Jagged. Jagged Stone. Okay, so we've got two left, one of which has dropped his gun. One is starstruck by you. Starstruck. Um, Maybe get I'm him on the side. You want to turn him and he could be useful. Mm, I'm just wondering if it's time to kind of like get him tied up or something, but make sure he doesn't turn back around on us. Or I could just shoot the other guy. I'm going to just shoot the other guy. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and make me an attack roll, please. What, and what are you attacking with? What kind of weapon? 
Uh, I believe I have a heavy pistol. Let me just okay. check. Very good. Power of music. Oh, I'm going to go to combat. He's using mind bullets. <laughs> oh, very heavy pistol. Sorry. Very good. Yeah, that's a hit. Boom. Roll me your damage, please. Oh, I didn't move my guy. Oh. <laughs> All right. And you finish this guy off. You hit him. He's got his back turned to you. Because he's facing off against uh, Ray, and you just shoot him right in the back, center mass, and he drops to the ground, if I, bleeding. If I've still got a little time, can I casually kind of put my pistol on my, you know, off my shoulder like that, swagger over to the guy who surrendered, put my arm around him, say, Hey man, do you want an autograph? <laughs> yes, yes you can. You can, you can do that. And he's, and he's just like, he's kind of like shaking, he's like, I've seen you play, you're... You're going to make it, man. You're great. You're great. You're from the same neighborhood as me. And he's holding out his book to get your autograph. Are we part of the band or is he part of his own band? Are we uh, like work that's friends? That's up to you. Do you want to be part of his band? I think we're more like entourage, really. <laughs> it's all about me, man. Of yeah, course, it's all about yeah, Jack. Actually, yeah. We don't want to derail that. Yeah. I'm going to stand behind the Starstruck one with me wrench. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like pointing, like, mm. <laughs> like practice a, swings. Yeah. You know, like you do for golf, just warm it up. Just, mm. Um. So the one who starstruck goes like, "Listen, hey, hey, there's not, there's nobody in the next in the next train car, but in in the in the the, the one at the front, that's where they've got everybody, and, and you got to be careful. There's a turret in there, and that thing <gasps> will mess you up." Oh, 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 oh acid, oh, oh, acid, oh, oh, did you hear that? Oh, they got toys, that, they got toys oh, in the front no, one. No, me. I, I, I know, I, that is why Major did, is robotic and stuff. <laughs> Dr. Roboto. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna get yeah. shot, with, you know that, with right? the With the, and the zap, zap, and the... So, if you, there's nobody in the next carriage, we can move up. Yeah, yeah let's do yeah. that. We need to plug I'm, I'm going to ask my fan to kindly cable tie himself to one of the crates or something. <laughs> Will you please Why don't tie you get yourself him over up? to our get him uh, over he's... to our vehicle? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll keep yeah, him. He can drive. We'll keep... If you want to keep him, <laughs> he's a yeah. pet. Him and Sir Hissington can keep each other company. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, that's a plan. Dr. <laughs> but he's going to die if we leave him here. He's dead. Yeah, the company will kill him to, for plausible deniability. What do we? So... Do we care? Of course we yes, care. Because... We're the good guys. It it the first... like we... yeah. <laughs> We're the slightly right, better guys. Enough. That I understand. <laughs> Alright, we're telling him to touch nothing. Mr. Dr. Hissy likes being keep scratched an under the, the chin. Don't don't scratch on the top or he will take your hand off. Don't <laughs> touch <laughs> Dr. Hissington. Don't <laughs> touch anything in the lobster. Right. He's he's very confused. Lobsters and Doctor Hissingtons. He has no idea. I what would you're like to remove his gun, oh, his oh. radio, any communication equipment he might and have. There's there's an extra ultra diet sprite, which is mine. And if I find you have drunk it, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> uh, right, you know, what can I see in the next carriage <laughs> yeah. while they're giving this guy the rules? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what he can and can't eat, drink, and do with our pet <laughs> reptile. <laughs> he, he hands everything over to D Jagged Stone. He kind of ignores the rest of you. Um, in the next car, I'll just move your. You can just move your token in there if you want. Uh, the next car, there are more boxes and crates in here, uh, but on the southeastern wall, you do see that there is a terminal uh, that you could. That, that he mentioned, that you know you could try to get into and see what's going on in this train, maybe get control of this turret that he mentioned on the other um, in the other car, and get that That's under control. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to move up to the other to the next door along. I don't want to open it, but I just want to be by it with me wrench, just in case anyone comes wandering through. Okay. I'm also in the room, but I don't know... <laughs> I don't know how useful I'll be. <laughs> well, come up this end, because we might need you to disable yeah, the turret I, if it doesn't I, I work for know. either of us. My map's weird. I don't know why. I can't, I can't like, see the whole thing. How do I... You need to move into the carriage. Move, move in the next car. Everything to. on my end is... I am in the next car. I just... It's not... Okay, never mind. I'm here. Do, 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 do. I'm here. 
Okay, time to hack. Whoop. Typing really quickly. There we go. Everything on my computer froze up. But we're back. All I'm, right. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. So, yeah, you're at the door. You're listening or whatever. You're ready. You've got your guns drawn. Let's hack. Let's hack Acid Overdrive. This is what you're made for. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's this? Cybertech or electronic security? It's going to be interface. We're going to do some In real... We're going to do real actual hacking now. <gasps> I don't have a skill that says interface. I know. It's... Ah. Oh, oh, maybe I do. Ooh. Where are you on here? All right, so you're in the net. So this is going to represent Ooh. you going through the net and hacking things. So you go in, you interface with this thing, and in front of you, there's a door, but you got to get through a lock. So the way they describe hacking in oh, Cyberpunk, cool. it's like a, it's like an elevator, and you're going down, floor by floor, and you don't know. You can you can try to do some hacking to see how many floors there are. Uh, but you got to go past things to get to get to the next level. So this is we're going to do some real hacking before we were just doing dice rolls. So you're in there, you're in the interface, and in front of you is a door that is stopping you that you need to to get past to move down to the next level. Ooh, it's like Dungeons and Dragons. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> just like Dungeons and Dragons. If oh, we somehow have more dragons. Door. <laughs> All right, what am I doing then? Dungeons. Do I need to go to my Netrunner tab? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Netrunner tab's blank. So it's a D10. So the way that these okay. things work is typically it's it's a D10 plus your interface. The interface for your character, your rank is a four. So basically you're rolling a D10 plus four for all these rolls. That's why I'm just saying roll a D10. So roll me a D10 and we'll determine what you're what you end up with. Oh, oh my! God. Do you want to use I'm a reroll? I'm using a reroll. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. No, it's Creepy Elmo. Get him away. I don't like... <laughs> Jared, I'll ask for it. So, no. Because this is... <laughs> so you get in there, you've, you've got this lock in front of you, you're able to break it open and go to the next level. You get to the next level and you're faced with yet another lock, but more difficult uh, to break through. So go ahead and make me another interface roll, please. You got the same score. Did you want to re-roll? This one's more difficult. Or you can spend luck. You can spend two luck and get through past it. I will spend two luck. All right, so you... Because I don't have any more re-rolls. You interface with this thing. You're able to crack the code. And you're brought to the last floor. But I don't see the door I put in here. And in front of you, Ooh. you can see this cybernetic, like, wolf standing there it's got red glowing eyes that kind of like motion blur as it moves and it locks its gaze with you um and it's friendly behind it though you can see you can see access you don't need to hack past anything else you you can gain access to all the information and everything on this train so you can do a couple things you can try and fight this thing or you can use an action that's called slide and basically you slide past any enemies that are in your your way Okay, well, I've got a couple of active programs. Yes, um, you have a I've sword. Got... Yeah, I have, I have a ban hammer. Ooh, really? According to this, I have a ban hammer, speedy Gonzalez, <laughs> and flat. So I am going to try. Uh, I'm going to hit. I'm going to try and hit this wolf with my ban hammer. All right. So to do that, love it. Let me flip to the ban hammer. Plus two attack, 3d6 versus Hellhounds. I like the idea that we're watching us go, no, stay back, foul wolf, but like you're just <laughs> flying. No, so away. roll me a I like to think he's actually rolling dice. That's Please. his hacking wave hacking. Oh, that'd be great. Got a little cyber oh, look, dice. A five again. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and you said it has so, an attack two? Yeah. Okay. And we watch as Acid is <laughs> digitally mauled mold to death. No, not well. Let's see. I just got to see what its uh, defense is. You beat its defense. That's good. <laughs> Sweet. That's good. So, uh, so go my... ahead and roll me your 3d6 damage, please. You're going to hurt it. Boom. Holy crap. All right. 
you heard it. You slam this thing. You this hammer. You pull it out. And you slam into this wolf, and it starts to whimper. Uh, but you don't kill it. It's not dead yet. It now gets to attack you, this hellhound. Let's see if it hits. It's a shame that it is a hellhound, but it's also a shame that it isn't. All right, so the hellhound bunch, 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 bunch. bites at you. Watch what you're With a Y. Like. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, it rolled good. So <laughs> you get to... You die in the game, you die in real life. <laughs> Do you have any defenses or anything? No. I uh, do not know. Kate, roll me a d10, please. I have a thing. I have flak stops the first successful non hellhound, so no. Okay. Hey. Oh. Finally, something above a five. Um, its attack is successful. <laughs> so you throw up your defenses, and it still lunges forward and it fights you. <laughs> Protection! Oh shit! It's gonna do two d six, two d six damage directly to your brain. Ten damage Ugh. um to your brain. So that's physical damage you're gonna take. And all of a sudden, you see, you see Acid standing there, and he's like interacting with something. All of a sudden, the cyber deck that's attached to his arm bursts into flames, oh. and so does Acid. Flames oh, start to no, travel oh, up oh, his body. Oh, I I get like a little I get like That's a little tea towel sign. and start trying to f I try to put, no I I will actually try and put the flames. Out. I'm not gonna fuck about it with that. Uh, how can I put? Do I have a? Oh, uh, that's a lot do more I dramatic have... than the nosebleed I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, no, this thing literally is... makes you burst into flames if it damages you. It's not. Wow. Is there is there a firefighting skill? Surprisingly, not with an amount of skills in this game. <laughs> um... Um, and I can't duct get to tape. my character because my character's not on the screen. Can't wind him up in duct tape to put the fire out. Uh, uh, yeah, I actually can't see my skills because my guy isn't there. Shit. Oh, um, like you can't see them? Yeah, well, because we're on, uh, we're on acids thing, so only. Yeah. Acid your character. On. Oh, how do I do that? It should be a thing up in the top corner that says "pop out" on your character sheet. No, top or right. If you right click, also it should just. No, that's what I'm saying. I I don't have access to it. Okay. It doesn't matter. Like I, I don't really know what I could There's, do. I will do the survival you can roll first skill. Aid. Help. First Put aid skill. Oh, oh, first aid. Okay. Here, I'll pop you back to the train. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Now I can do it because I I can get access to my guy. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so anybody can roll first this. aid and try and put acid out. <laughs> 20 nice. holy crap yeah i think we might just let doctor Vert all right so you hop over and you start i don't know you grab a, a a blanket or something and you start just like hitting it against acid and you uh you put out the flame so he's no longer on fire you're still in okay. there acid like it doesn't pull you out as long as you remain in there every round you're burning you just take kind of more damage so it doesn't affect what you're doing can, in can, there can can I? So the, there's a big scary fuck off gun on the other end of the door, which is going to shoot us, right? If we a open turret, it. yeah. Turret. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything I can do with my security electronics, or is is this more of an acid thing? This, this is an acid thing. This is what acid's shit. working towards here with this hellhound. So okay. Let's jump back to acid because it's now yes, acid's yes. turn against this hellhound once again in the initiative order. Oh, it's worked, Doc. So you can go ahead and make another attack with just a D10 and see if you hit it. What? <laughs> no, that that hits. That beats that beats the oh. number you need. So go ahead and roll me your, wow. your damage, please. What was the 3D6? Alright, so how do you slay this thing with your ban hammer, this hellhound? I hit it with the ban hammer and it sort of nudges it back and it kind of looks at me like it's about to attack back once one more time. And then the end of the ban hammer opens up and a smaller hammer pops out and finishes it off. I'm going to Xeno hammer it. Yeah. Excellent. All right. So 
rock and roll. You are now, <laughs> you are now interfaced this thing. You have access to cameras. You can see what's in the other room. You could even uh, interface with the turret. In the other room, you see that there are five people um, that are sedated, and they are heavily modified with cyberware and cyber gear uh, modifications. They're all sedated. They're not awake. There's a turret in the middle of the room up on the roof, and there are four guards similar to the one that you already fought in the other room, and one that's really, really decked out in, like, heavy-duty equipment. You have... With your rolls, have a turret. <laughs> gained yeah. access to the turret. You have a turret at your disposal. I'm gonna shoot the turret. Sure, <laughs> I like it. So it's small, smolder once for yes, smolder twice for no. <laughs> so you one have... long smolder. Oh, is that the smolder? Is it? So you have a, you have a turret. Um, you're not gonna have to roll here. You have you have complete control over it. They are not expecting this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to basically just um, mark them as enemy combatants for the turret and us as friendlies. Is that okay. a thing I yeah, can Yeah, you can do that. So it's oh, going to start perfect. firing right off the bat. Like, as soon as you do that. Oh, yep. and mark the unconscious yeah. people as friendlies as well. <laughs> yeah. So this thing actually has a number of different weapons or uh, um, ammo available on it. Bazooka. It's got... It's got like basic assault rifle bullets. It's got Boring. a flamethrower. Oh, it has exactly. a maybe, dart gun with that. poison arrows. Mm. It's got the equivalent of a very heavy pistol that can pierce through armor, oh, or the equivalent one. of an of an of a heavy SMG. So you can program what gun you want to fire on these guys out of all the at once. All <laughs> at once. <laughs> Activate all weapons. <laughs> and you would have had to Dispatch have dealt with this. Dispatch rocket thing. Ajax. Um, yes. I think we're going to need armor piercing on the big guy. Sure, armor piercing on him. Do you want to just open fire on this thing like now, like without oh, opening the doors? Should we not be ready, shooting? like at the door? Yeah. Like we're ready. Yeah, Fine. Yeah. But, we'll let the turret do the hard work. Um, yeah, I will. I will just start opening fire with the turret in there. I'm going to start on the big guy with. Yikes. Um, that's good. Yeah, the big guy. 11 points of damage right through his armor. Okay, so all of a sudden, uh, the turret just starts opening fire in the other room. You can hear screaming. You hear anarchy. You're like, what's going on? What's happening? Get that thing under control. And like, ah, oh, I'm hit. <laughs> Coming from the other room. Excellent. I love this tune. <laughs> I will let you get two shots off on your target before the door opens and they run in there to see what's going on on the console. Sounds wow. like they're playing our song. <laughs> you were I'd able like to be ready to bat people as they come through the door. Oh, I want to be standing ready to shoot as well. Or in that case, I want to be somewhere else. <laughs> you were able to eliminate in these first two rounds of surprise um, the big, heavily armored guy with your <laughs> with your two shots from the turret. It then spins towards the door as the door opens, and there are more of those. You see uh, a guard, two guards, coming through the door towards you. Switch to poison darts. They sound fun. <laughs> Let's add you all to the turn order here. We'll do combat again. How do I have to do it on my GM? So I know. Hey, are we keeping the initiatives? I oh, know. I'm at the bottom. Oh, oh, it's gone. It's disappeared. New initiative. Wham. Why is that? Yes, I have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. That's what you think. Why is it not adding you guys? There we go. It only added some oh, of you. I got naked. I can't actually see it. How do I see the initiative tracker? Right. Click oh no, our the fist it didn't... at the top. Yes. Okay. Don't nobody count the one that I rolled because it was a four. But in in the combat tracker, it's a twenty. So yeah, the one it's interest. Oh wow! I got a ten. Yes. A hot I really do not have the combat tracker. Yes. Where's the combat tracker again. It's the fist. The fist. Yep. So just there click on go. the fist, ah, and then it yes. shows you our numbers. Then you just click on the the die. There's the fist, and then I click on initiative. No, just the die. It does it. It does it itself. Oh yes, just, it does, doesn't it? The d20. 
Wow, you did worse than me. Right, okay. I'm busy. <laughs> Yeah, he, that's true. He's still smoking heavily. <laughs> and so on when you're fire yeah. and Slightly wired up over. to the train. Oh no, I put you out. You're just you know when you're, slightly. When you're net running, you also get you get one meat action, which is like something you get to do outside of, you know, being in the net, and you get you get your net actions as well. I think it's cry. So, so <laughs> cry. <laughs> um. So you, you do get to do that because basically when you're net running, you're not like totally engrossed in it. What you have is you have these glasses to wear, and it's kind of like reflecting whatever's going on in there in front of the glasses or on yeah it's, so you it's, can still uh, kind of see what's overlay. going on around you so that's why you get a net action as well so you can shoot these guys or a meat action i should say a meat action you can shoot them as well all right so we're all on here they're first all right <laughs> that's not good yeah, so the door right. slides open and they're like what the hell's suck. going on here are you guys on either side of the door or what are you what are you what are you doing either side i think that was the plan I was yeah. ready to swing as it came through, but well, I was my ready to shoot. I, I was standing slow. opposite the door, like like that, readying, so they can see. Is what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. Because I'm not the smartest <laughs> cookie. Because they can see all of you, both of you. Yeah. Doctor Bert's done his job. All right. Now he's just the meat cheese. <laughs> the first. The first. <laughs> oh, wait, what have I shoot. done? I jumped well. The first That's one's literally all doctor, I've done. Doctor Nye is getting shot by the first one. <laughs> Actually, Nye. But uh, yes, Doctor. Yes, Doctor Vert. Sorry, Doctor. No, it's all Actually, right. Nye. Uh, let's close that. Some nice hacking taking those guys out. Does it? Pff, Twenty-two. All right. So <laughs> we do the same thing. Roll your evasion skill, please. Oh, my evasion is actually kind of good. <laughs> Shockingly. But they... <laughs> but you critically... Whoa! That is shocking. You're uh... right. <laughs> that was shocking. Hits you for God 9 damn damage. Yeah, well, just... that's less than ideal. So, you, you, have, you have armor, though. All of you guys have armor, and I believe you have 11 oh, okay. points of armor for both your head and your chest. So your armor is going to eat it up. Uh, and it's not going to go through. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it degrades, time. yeah. It degrades if it goes through. So if a point of damage goes through, oh. then your armor degrades by one point every time. So your armor Otherwise stopped it... this, and you're and it's actually okay. Uh, oh, okay. I have a. Oh, yeah. bring it on. Uh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I, 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 I'm intimidated. What the hell? Ha. The one, one behind him moves forward, and he's going to shoot now. No, oh, no. <laughs> And okay. he's going to hit... Oh, he's going to shoot the, at the rocker boy, Jagged. He sees you on the other side of the room, and he's going to try and hit you. Oh, and he rolls oh. 30. <laughs> you can roll your evasion. Who knows? You could critically succeed wow. as well, and he, he could miss you. Um, but go ahead and, yes, please roll your evasion to try and get out of the way of the Man. shot, Jagged. Wow, 30. Oof. Evasion. Unlikely, but let's give it a go. Where is it? I think it's just the skill. It's listed under skills, I believe. Or it skills might be on the combat, combat tab as well, because it's something. It is also on the combat tab. Even fighting combat. skills. Ex exclamation point. Evasion. 18. All right. Let's see how he does. Oh, 16 points of damage. Ow. So this is where we're going to get some armor degradation. So we're going to get um, <laughs> five points go through and your armor on your body goes down by one. So you're, you have 10 instead of 11. So you go ahead and take uh, five points of it's damage. 10. Oh, is it 10? No, no, it is 11. But it, if it degrades, then it goes down to 10. Yes, it? correct. And it's going to yeah, keep going down. All right, so you got hit. All of a sudden, guy shouts from the other train car. Fires his gun and uh, Jagged is tagged. Ah, he's hit and he's bleeding. You take it out Oh, not cool, man. Not cool. All right, you're gonna get a lovely I'm skull. Something so. They'll yes. sing songs about you. Wait, you can sing songs about yourself. Yeah, you can sing songs about you. All right. Um. So. <laughs> Dr. Vert, you can go. I'm oh, going to shoot. <laughs> shoot. <laughs> I'm going to shoot. Uh, um, I'm going to shoot the guy that shot um, uh, Jagged. Sure. 
Okay, now I need to not miss, Excellent. which is which is quite difficult. Put up on him. For you. Yes. These guys have low reflexes. So if character if NPCs have a reflex of eight or higher, they get to do what you guys do and roll your their evasion skill. If they have a lower than eight, then it's just a difficulty number you have. Let's attack. So I got hit, an eighteen. You hit with an eighteen with your assault rifle, so go ahead and roll me some damage. <laughs> 14. 14. Look at all those dice. 5d6. <laughs> um, yeah. You hit him. Uh, it doesn't kill him, but uh, you severely hurt the one that shot Jagged. That's for Jagged, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine Job words. shouting out someone's name. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, so Jagged, you know, it's your everything. turn. This guy that shot me. Yes. That's the <laughs> one that Vert shot at, so you're gonna I'm gonna again. run over and hit him over the head with my guitar. Oh, oh not your, uh, I, I like it, yes. <laughs> not your axe. Last vicious mockery. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. So. Um so that'll be is there's a melee skill for brawl? Let me see. Uh, there is brawl and melee. So roll yeah, options. roll me your melee, please. Have it. Woo, 21. Oh. That hits. That hits. Roll me 3d6. It's a big, heavy object. How do I get it to add more than deep? More Just than... keep clicking it. Keep clicking on the dice. Click it three times and it'll take you up to 3d6. <laughs> Beautiful. 11 damage. That was the one that Vert already hurt. So you run over your guitar, you bring it down on his head, and the guy just collapses. He passes out. And that little turret's like, whoop, 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 kind of looking around at the top of the roof. Uh, okay, let's jump over to Ray. All right. So one of these guys what? is dead. One of these guys is dead. The other one's not. Um, I'm going to run up to him. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow. The dead guy looks badly done. And I'm going to wrench him in the face. Yes. Do it. Because why would you not? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, you run up. Bad. Swing. It's got an 11 still, didn't you? Um, that might hit. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a second. That might actually still hit. <laughs> you have rerolls, Arjun. Oh, you do have I a reroll. Yeah, it didn't hit. Go ahead and, if you want to use a reroll, go ahead and do that. Uh, if I have one, I don't know if I do. I've got another strike, though. So I You just... do. You can, you can, um... I'm just you can hit, hit with your again. melee weapon again. Or I'm you can shoot. It's up to you, whatever you want to use. I'd like to try and hit him with my wrench again. Yep. That is a hit. Oh, I forgot to wind up. Sorry, that's on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nine points damage you. Bang him with the wrench. Physically shaken. He's hurt, but he's not uh, He's not dead from that attack. Mostly going for the kneecaps. Um, so, Acid, for your turn... You're going to get an attack with your turret, and you also, you can do something else. You can do, like, a meat action if you want. Um, I can't actually see any of them from no, where I am. No, you'd have to so move from where you're I, at. I don't want to lose my connection. Yeah, you need an extension cable. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll use my turret to um, heavy pistol that guy. Sure. Okay. Sounds Is it just good. the one guy left up? No. There are two, two more at the back of the room. Okay, in which case I'm going to concentrate on them, and they can have yeah poison um, dart, poison darts, poison, poison darts. dart. <laughs> okay, you shoot one of the poison dart. It it hits. Okay, <laughs> he's poisoned. I'm surprised. Matt. He's just like he's just like oh my my own turret is turned on me. What what is going on here? Ah, uh, all right. Hoisted by your own petard. 
Dr. Vert, let's jump back over to you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot someone. Yeah, and even kill this prick. Yeah, I'm going to run in and I'm going to shoot someone. Preferably someone that is shootable. Shootable. Yeah. So you can run in. You can go past. Um... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Ray, if you oh. want. Uh, and you get in that room, and you can see that there's one next to Ray. There's a dead one beside you, and there's two at the far end of the room. One of them has a poison dart sticking I out of him. Go rounds like this. I have movement six, so I in line with these guys, like that. Yep, yeah, yeah, that works. Uh, I'm gonna shoot one of the squishier ones, one of the the smaller guys. Sure. Um. Yeah, I will just. Yeah, I'll just shoot. The easy, one, easy, the one beside easy. you has been shot already. The one on the far end of the room has a poison dart sticking out of him. I'll and go for the, the untouched one. Is one. Yeah. Okay. That guy. That guy there. The one that's not been touched by anything. Sure. I'm gonna shoot at him. That's a uh, hit. 20, 21, and I'm gonna damage. 18. <laughs> just chewing him up. You just obliterate him. You just. Also, <laughs> this is the first time you've ever seen Doctor for really be impressive with his assault rifle. And he's going there, pff, unload on this guy, and he's just cut to pieces, blood everywhere, and he drops to the ground next to the very heavily armored uh soldier that was With taken out initially large holes I think just... in that <laughs> heavy armor <laughs> all right back to jagged jagged you're over there you can still see it's the guys no fun, the jagged. come on we're on the second course now can i shoot someone with my pistol <laughs> you sure can go ahead right, and make me a roll that. hold on It's like that time in the heavyweight stream when we played um, Carbon 2185 and there was this heavy cybered guy that they really wanted us to fight and I just kept hitting him with a van instead. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hit. Roll me your damage, please, Jagged. I'm not fighting him. He'll beat me up. 14. The, va the van is more powerful than the sword. Yes. That is enough to finish off the one in the doorway with Ray. Alright, well... Speaking of Ray, there's one left Hello. and he's got a poison dart sticking out of him on the far end of the room. I'm gonna go run up to him and batter him. Alright. Hit him twice, smack him twice. I'm gonna stand behind him. Decided this is Ray's signature move. Uh... <laughs> Bong! Oh, ho, ho. Roll me your damage. That's gonna hurt. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh no. Oh, Three ones! Extraordinary. Alright, roll me uh, another attack, please. That is not enough to kill him. Oh, that hits. Just, he's like rubbing the back of his head. Oh, like, oh my goodness. Alright, let's add this up. How much you run up and you boop too? him on the nose. <laughs> and I run behind him. <laughs> Tug his ears. All he's right. probably not dead yet, is he? He's not dead. You just pantsed him. A poison's yeah, gonna pissed. take him down. He, he turns around. He's like, he's dazed from you hitting him with a wrench twice in the head, but it's not enough to kill him. And he's going to turn around. He's going to try and shoot you. Yeah, well, you Bear in mind that you said I should poison him. I did. I am a good move. Ow. Uh, please roll your evasion. Yes. You can't please roll it. my evasion. Ow. 12 points of damage, so one point goes through your armor. You take one point of damage, your armor goes down. Ow. Back. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Uh, and Netrunner, what do you... Or, I keep calling you Netrunner because that's what you are on the named on the combat. Acid! What do you want to shoot this thing with? Finish him off. Finish this guy off. Who's, who's left? Is it just, just that the one, one guy? Just the one next to Ray. Yep, the one I'm uh, tickling. You can have a heavy pistol then. I'm tickling him. All right, heavy pistol. That's enough. All right, you unload. Bam! Goes right through. Armor piercing. Blood sprays all over Ray. You've got the train. It's still moving. It's 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 programmed, right? It's running on its own. There's no engineer in the next card up. Um, but you have these five heavily sedated, heavily modified people, and you do see uh, their their the your the person who hired you. His friend is there, and he is among them. Okay, we've got to get five people out of here. How are we, how are we doing this? We're going to zip line them into the lobster. Oh, okay. start with you start loading them, I'm going to purge our presence from the train. Right. Okay. Why do we need to take all five, man? Because, <laughs> like, 
We'll take as many as we can. Yeah, we can take all five. The, the, we just we're we're still, it's like the one man. Yeah, but we like might Tetris. get paid for the others. Other you know, people just, will be looking for them. Yeah, you just kind of got to like move everyone in the right position, then we'll all fit. You got to hold I, on. I, I want to digitally remove our presence from the yeah. train. So you know, blank us off of cameras. Yeah. Remove any physical traces that I'm able to remove. That's a very good idea. I also want to pull up an inventory of what they've got in these boxes, because if they've got some cool toys, I want to nick them. And uh, also loot the bodies. Yeah. No, for sure. You are you're you can loot the bodies. They have some great gear on them. You you already passed all your interfacing roles. You've, you've been past, you've got past all the security. So you know there is Militech equipment being shipped on here. So there's armor, there's guns, there's all kinds of goodies in these crates. I could do with some new armor. Mine's got um, a hole in it. So you can you can try to loot stuff. There's only so much room though in the lobster. The lobster is just a car, is it not? Yeah, I thought it was like I thought it was like a mobile old. food truck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's the there's really a inside, of different yes. image of plus, what the lobster looks like. Plus five others, plus um crates of weapons. We could stick some on the roof, right? could stick some on the roof maybe you could stash them I'll, in the desert and come back and get them later bury them i'll just throw them off stick little transponder pods on them throw them off the train i'll start putting people in do i need to make a rule to get people safely in the lobster or is or am i just like <laughs> well, <laughs> how, do I, how am i doing this you can you can make some rolls you can drop some people okay. they can be run over by the I, lobster i will help you're, you're a first aider you could unsedate them Oh, can I do that? We don't know how they're going to respond. Just break out some smelling salts and bring them back. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, <laughs> some poppers. <laughs> some poppers. <laughs> sure, sure. Why don't you take out those lines that are sedating roll. them? Leave them unconscious. Uh, would that be first Leave aid? Yeah, that would be first oh. aid, yeah. Let's see how your bedside manner 22. is. 22. Wow, okay, you're... You start to bring these people about, and they're <gasps> they wake up and they're in shock, and like the first reaction is to like kind of fight don't, back. Don't, yeah, no, it's all right. Don't worry. You're just on a miltech train where they're planning to disassemble you. If you don't get there, you're surrounded by dead bodies, blood, and viscera. And I'm pretty sure the guy that saved you is on fire still. But don't worry, we have a we have a lobster van piloted by a crocodile. It's got oh. a doctor. Doctor. And, and, and Jacob Stone's number one fan. And yeah, there's a number one fan. And we've got a rock star as well. Yeah, why don't you play some soothing music, Jagged? Right, so come on, let's go. Let's Jagged go. looks mournfully at his guitar, which has probably got a large dent in it now. Yes. Well, that, that makes it more soul, right? Just excuse me while I pull the optics out of this heavily armoured geezer. <laughs> All right. It's so a disturbing you... squelching sound. Acid, you're you're already in the systems. You're able to erase any traces of your you being here. All of the camera footage is gone. Uh, you slowly are able to bring some of these people down and out of the train. There's not going to be room in the lobster for everybody. You're going to have to make a couple of trips, going out to the desert and picking these people up and bringing them back. But uh, or right, maybe you can call the them call. for some. You can call some friends, maybe some backup, maybe you know some people that can come and help. Uh, do you guys want to throw a couple of crates off the train no as well anyone. as it's speeding down the track? Definitely. Does Vert know anyone? No. <laughs> Whatever is most expensive. <laughs> oh, that is just awesome. That's awesome. Um, so oh, no. the train, the train's gone. Oh, you want the the train, the chase, or the train? the train? Yeah, I think I think Matt's always at his wits end. <laughs> No, Did no, no. Break him? <laughs> so you guys are able to bring them back. You make contact with the person who hired you for the job. You get your 10,000 eddies. You get a little bonus. You get an extra 5,000 for bringing him back alive. Finding out that he he's fine. And this was a big Militech plot. But at the end of the day, who would believe you? Who would be stupid enough to take on the corporation? And you kind of take this information and you don't know what to do with Us it. probably. <laughs> Uh, we're so probably <laughs> bravery. We literally it. don't understand like how dangerous this is. And you, you go can. back. You, you can go write back. a song about it. <laughs> yeah. You go back to Garbleg Industries and you burn it to the ground. We well, get to yeah. ram it this time. Pie to the people, man. Rock and roll. 
I said we'll be take, back, assholes! Can we take the flamethrower off the turret and mount it on top of the lobster? <laughs> yes, you're now driving around with a giant flamethrower on the top of Fantastic. your car. Fantastic. Ram right the, through the front uh, doors, flamethrower on full burst. Well, yeah. Before the vert peon. The Gator Gang has moved up in the ranks, and uh, they have more lucrative jobs coming their way in the future. But that is uh, that is the end. Our eventual wrap it up. We went a little uh, late here, so I apologize. But no, uh, it was cool. Thank you yeah. very much. It was brilliant. Loved it. Bravo. Yeah. <laughs> thank thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, most thank appreciated. You, awesome. Yes, yeah, thank you for awesome. playing. So, Loved it. <laughs> That was yeah, on behalf of Garbag, like, big, big thanks to Matt. Thank you for yes, coming over to our channel awesome. and running a little mm -hmm. game for us. We really appreciate it. We're, We're back worthy. on Tuesday over on Matt's channel with Coriolis, the Scheherazade mm -hmm. Protocol. Mm -hmm. um, a Coriolis game, because I already said yes. that one. Yes, archaeology. <laughs> yep. It's got some people doing like space archaeology and chasing and yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. I'm going to play this one straight, honest. <clears throat> I believe it when I see it. No, and on no Thursday, audience. we've got some more spacey space action with um, Traveller character creation, which is a mini game in and of itself. Yeah, all 10 people. Are we actually going to Are, are we all people? in it? Is everybody here? Are we all play I'm, I'm, I'll be yep. there. I think so. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like to peek behind the curtain for a moment, like Pete Harry had eight people and he was like, does anyone else want to join? And out of the me were like, yeah, can we join in? It was like, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Yeah, why not? We've why got not? 10 people now. Yeah. yeah. Jim, get in here. Yeah. For it looks like stuff. the people in chat have decided that that guy that you adopted is now like your roadie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Uh, you have a crocodile and a roadie. Yeah. And we're you can feed life. Dr. Hissington when we forget about him. Yeah, I think that's sensible. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're sorry. We forgot to feed you. We're really sorry. <laughs> you ate the intern again. <laughs> All right. And chat, thanks for joining us, chat, also. Thank you to my, the wonderful players, and thank you to chat who watched the whole show and all the interaction we had with the chat. I always yeah. love when people are into it. Ash, thank you very much, everybody, for coming yeah. along and joining us. We've been awesome. Garbleg Games, Feet, Matt from Free League. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's that way. Or, that or double you kind of in the slash. Middle. It depends. One of the directions yeah. I'm pointing in. Yeah. That way, <laughs> that way. Yeah, let's go that way. All right. Pick one. Did we, did, we got all <laughs> of our... Thank you and good night. Good night, everybody. Good Bye night. Bye-bye.